the next generation of Jedi. We seek a dangerous fugitive. This is no common anarchist, but a devotee of the treasonous Jedi Order. No! Look at this, a lightsaber. I was alone for a long time. I was scared that they'd find out who I was or what I was. And you're not alone. Not anymore. Hey, BD-1. I'm Cal. Get your lasers off my lunch! I guess it's about time I find out who I am. Couple bombs ain't gonna kill you, kid. Marin, right? I've spent years waiting for a chance to avenge my sisters. I know what it's like to lose everything. Night sisters and Jedi do not travel together, but survivors, we adapt. The fate of the Jedi Order lies in your hands. Life has this funny way of forcing you on a path forward. Execute Order 66. Every Jedi faces the dark side. We could build something different. Something better. She'll sell you out too. You can't stop the Empire! I'm stronger now because of the pain. Such hatred. Failure is not the end. It is a necessary part of the path. Hope will always survive in those who continue to fight. I will never forget. I will honor your teaching and your sacrifice. By the right of the Council, Cal Kestis, rise, Jedi Knight. Remember, trust only in the Force. So where to now?
Sarah is on lockdown. State your business. Jean. Believe the rumors. The Jedi. We brought him in alive. The Senator is expecting us. You're clear to move along. We want to keep the Senator waiting. District secure? Yes, Senator. It better be. Ada's dogs are always sniffing about. Jedi is a rare quarry these days. What else have you brought me? See that he is paid. Senator, hope this isn't the last time we get to do business together. The renegade Jedi Cal Kestis. You have made quite a name for yourself. 
sabotaging weapons depots, disrupting supply lines, flaunting this for everyone to see. The failed coup on Norset. That was your doing, wasn't it? What do you want, Senator? A confession? You already know I've been working with Saul Guerrero. Before I deliver you to the Emperor, you will lead me to the remaining Jedi. I can't. It's just me. <laughs> no use resisting. I'll find out one way or another. Sometimes all it takes is a speech. But in there, I have other tools at my disposal. Or maybe I'll just use this. Your master's lightsaber. Jaro Tapal, a traitor like you. And to think one day our children will ask, what is this thing? This relic of a corrupt institution destroyed by its own arrogance. Arrogance is a trap a lot of us fall into, Senator. I'm sure the Emperor won't mind if I deliver you to him in pieces. What? Did you really think you could capture me? You've got classified military intel stored on your yacht. And you just brought it right to me. <sighs> Thanks, BD. You'll burn for this. That's mine. Stop the Jedi! <laughs> Us. Uh, he's coming a little hot. Oh, really hot! Hold on! It's okay. Oh, these things happen. That yacht. That was a close one, buddy. It's not your fault. Catch up with the yacht. You don't have anything for it, do you? <laughs> we gotta find that yacht before the Empire does. Is it safe up here? You're gonna disobey a direct command? I'm just saying, we've got jetpack troopers for this, don't we? It's a big district. 
They're doing general sweeps of the area. Our orders are to hold our ground and wait for backup. Yes, sir. Whatever intel the senators got stashed, I hope it's worth the risk. You never give up hope, do you, buddy? there. Let's move, BD. Don't. I beg you. I fought in the war. I doubt that. Now clear out. Senator's orders. Oh, that's it. Blast them. Stop here. Kind of rare mineral, I guess. Yeah, it's beautiful. the yacht. Still drifting. That's the spirit, BD. We'll get it. Yeah. 
Closer. Hanging in there, BD? Don't look down. Took you so long. Oh, you know, just hanging out, <clears throat> taking in the sights. <clears throat> Been a while since I was on Coruscant. <laughs> mm. Thanks, Boat. Part of the job, Gustus. When I saw the dock collapse, I thought this heist might be over real quick. Why make it easy for him? Ah, where's the crew? Heading to the yacht. We'll meet him there. Oh, and Bravo said no comms. No comms it is. Bravo knows best. Kub and Liz are probably starving by now. Hungry Klaatu Indians. Ooh, you don't want that. Remind me to tell you about the Corita job sometime. Looks like that factory stopped the yacht. I call that a win. No gunships. Crew must be making mischief. Let's not keep them waiting. Knock down that crate. Where the shot? That jetpack's handy. Remind me to tell you how I got it sometime. Who taught you to move like that? My master. Every time I fell. He got me back on my feet. Sounds like a good teacher to me. Stormtrooper patrol. <laughs> Looking for us. Better us than the job, yeah? <laughs> Impressive. <laughs> Who needs a jetpack? that cable? On it, Kestis. <laughs> Bucket heads below. No going around them. Then we go through them. Enemies nearby. Hey, fellas. Did you hit him? Ah, one second. Ah. Nicely done. Back at you. We can call the lift with that terminal. On it. Troopers coming. Let's get the drop on him. Sure thing. On your signal. 
Speak binary, but I hear you, BD. Team effort. Let's try up that way. Quit reading my mind, Jedi. Town. Coruscant's changed a lot over the last few years. These days, just being outside is asking for trouble. Speaking of trouble, let's avoid that patrol. Agreed. Feels better. BD wants you to knock that down. Now I'm taking orders from the droid. The Emperor turned the Jedi Temple into his palace. 
Yeah, that's what the Empire does best. Take something you love and make it something you can't stand the sight of anymore. How long you been working with Saw Gerrera? Not long. A few jobs here and there. I could tell you impressed him. That isn't easy. I'm good at what I do, and I don't ask the wrong question. Combination tends to open doors. Be able to use that crane to get across the bridge. Mm. Using the Empire's tools against him. I've given you everything I have. We're here to protect you. I'm sure that's worth a few more credits. was a fan of you either. Hmm. I don't see a way up. Let's look around. Looks like BD found some. Find something, buddy? What's he got? Ascension cable. Worker sees him for construction now. Can you repair it? Uh, cable's a bit frayed. Not in bad shape. Should be a quick patch job. Hmm. Ah. So I heard you fought the Empire on Kashyyyk. Yeah. I hijacked a walker and broke open an Imperial prison camp single-handed. That one was BD. Just the two of you. And some friends. What about you, new guy? You win this for the credits? Well, credits never hurt. But, uh... I have a daughter. Got it. I don't get to see her as often as I'd like, but at least I can provide for her. Must be hard, being away from her. Mm. Is her mother... She's gone. The Empire took her from us. Sorry. T 
taking a lot of people. More every day. <clears throat> you ever use one of those? I'll figure it out. It was a scrapper on Braca. <laughs> You've been through a lot for someone so young. Just trying to survive. Aren't we all? Cable's holding. Good, I got a feeling you're gonna need it. That wasn't so hard. Back to the bridge. Hope the crew's doing all right. If Gabs gets bored, she might slice into Imperial comms for fun. Is she that good? Too good. Syndicate trained, but got on the wrong side of her employers. Bravo used to fly for the Republic. Ex-military. That explains a lot. I have to start working with Coop and Liz. Cantina on Norsted. Bounty Hunter got the drop on me. Twins threw him down a mine shaft. Friends ever since. Senator. Sounds like he wants to double my cut. That right, BD? <laughs> now, good to see you. Hey, Bravo. No job ever goes according to plan, does it? What fun would that be? How's the new guy doing? Bit of a talker, but good in a fight. Huh, I'll take it. Gab sliced the yacht. Senator can't call for help, but he's locked in pretty tight. You trying knocking? Any sign of Kel? Batista! Batista! I just bet the twins of the Senator had you in there stuffed and mounted. Hey, I want to cut at that. Hey, Kel, if you die, I get the mantis, right? Sorry, Gabs. Not mine to get. Hmm. So, what's the plan? That yacht's a side in our Ram City. The Senator has military intel on his personal terminal here. Could give us a fighting chance against the Empire. Problem is, Captain secured blast doors. Even the twins can't pry those bad boys open. How are we getting in? You fellas got the yacht down, Jetpack. Then I'll work my slicer magic. <laughs> With my lovely assistant. I'll grab our transport. Be back before you know it. Let's do this. Twins, get Cal across that gap. What should I do? You got a jetpack. Use it. Copy that. Thanks, twins. Keep your eyes sharp. Bravo says he's still on notice. Hi, yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe next time you'll check for syndicate tasks before. Hey, Cal. How you holding up? Just appreciating the view. What am I looking for? Two beams wrapped around the yacht. Gotta take a lot of torque. I'm talking Jedi torque. I think I can handle that. Hey, 
Cal, I tried to move those beams, but... Yeah, Gav's giving me the heads up. All right. First beam's down, Gavs. Can you tell the twins to pull down the yacht? On it. Go, Liz. Your turn. <laughs> I'm always careful. <laughs> Corina, saved your ass. You won't be here. For the record, I just need it up for you. Nice job, Cal. Hop on. We'll bring you down. I'm on, Gabs. Twins, got all yours. <laughs> And now, time for me and my lovely assistant to show you how it's done. Let's go reintroduce ourselves to the Senator. I knew we had unfinished business. Give us your terminal passcode. Impossible. They'll execute me. Maybe I could change his mind. You will give me access to your terminal. I can't. You can trust us. We're all friends here. Unlock it. We're all friends here. I can trust you. I will unlock the terminal. If he moves, blast him. Oh, my pleasure. All right, BD. Let's see what we got. <laughs> They're everywhere. Not the breakthrough we were hoping for. Years of fighting. Nothing we've done has slowed them down. What did you expect? You lost. The Republic is dead. It was killed by politicians just like you. Do you think I wanted Utapau to join the Empire? The compromises I made created a future for my people. I've been to Utapau, Senator. They spit your name out like a curse. At least they are alive. Why fight when you can't win? Surrender tastes bitter at first, Cal but sweetens with time. Free me, and we'll cut a deal. No, Senator. Someday when your children see this, they'll know the Jedi never stopped fighting for them. How disappointingly naive. Hey, the twins are getting that ravenous look. Let's wrap it up before we have another Karita incident on our hands, yeah? What about him? He's coming with us. Okay, let's take their food to go. of negotiation should I start with first? Didn't you call me sharp-tongued? This one is blunt. Well, it will have to do. Lucky you, Senator. You've got a date with... Saw Guerrero. He'll kill me. Oh, I don't know about that. Depends on whether you cooperate. That's a skill senator's prize, right? Cooperation. 
<laughs> we get what we need? Yeah. Wonder what Saul has for us next. First, we gotta get this intel topside. You'll pay for this, Count Kestis. Let me go, or your friends will suffer. They'll find you sooner or later, Jedi. We got a plan for the Senator? Still thinking it through. We could always ask Coob and Liz to see whether the Senator can fly. Is there time for a quick tour of Seijan's terminal? I could see if the Senator's got anything else we could use. And by we, you mean dirt you can sell to make some credits? You can fight the good fight and still get yours along the way, Cal. That's war. Maybe next time. Fine. But lunch is on you, and the twins are starving. I've changed my mind. We should always target the Empire. Yeah. Feels good to make a difference. No. They're loaded. Filthy rich. Make the huts look clean by comparison. I bet this senator has more credits. <laughs> Chasing shadows, I have been shot! You have been caught harboring a traitor. us, buddy. Gotta stay one step ahead. M canister. That'll prove useful.
That way's blocked. Come on. We'll come back later. Yes, I. I will bring the night. Expected me to use it like that. Troopers everywhere. Can't Gotta be to careful, BD. Get it! 
on me. They've got me. Good to see you. All right. Spoke too soon. I'll take the Inquisitor. Keep that other gunship off my back. On it. We gotta take her out. But you're hurting bad inside, Kestis. I can sense it. All oh, the guilt you're feeling for those fools you led to their deaths it makes you so, so predictable. I dare you take your shot. Your death will make me a legend. Buddy, help.
You were a Jedi Knight before you betrayed our order. Asana Tide. It's time to set you free. there let's get back to the mantis if the others made it out they'll meet us at the hangar if not Nice. <laughs> Do 
we're alive. Thanks to this crazy son of a gun dark. Uh, you're hurt. I'll manage. What happened to the Inquisitor? Dead. The gaps. And the twins. I, sh I should have. They knew what they signed up for. We need to get topside and transmit that intel to Saul Guerrero. That's how we honor the fallen. You're right. Yeah. BD, call the ships. Oh, Not the valley surface I was hoping for. Bravo. You got Overwatch? On it. All right. I'll draw the fire. You hit them when they aren't looking. Let's get some payback. See you in the next scrapper. Okay, let's go. All right, Bravo, keep it up. Bravo's got our backs. Light him up. Ready for some fun? Firing. There's the hangar. Hope the Mantis is in one piece. It's all yours, Boat. Had a hunch this might be a hot exit. See so you both in the air. Ready? Oh, this has been a great first date and all, but I still haven't gotten paid. Locator beacon? Got the other on the Mantis. When things cool off, come and find me. We'll settle up. Yeah, sure, I can trust you. You saw the intel. A lot more work to be done. Looks like I made the cut, huh, BD? <laughs> Boat? May the force be with you. You're a great fighter, Cal. Let's see how well you fly. How we looking, BD? Oh. Whatever it is. I'll have to wait until we get someplace safe. No 
traffic. Looks like this portal's under maintenance. As soon as we breach the surface, jump to light speed. Gotta take the risk. We've already overstayed our welcome. We got company. On my mark, hit the brakes. We'll drop behind him. Copy that, Bravo. Nice work, everyone. Hope that's the last of them. Not a fan of long goodbyes. More coming. I'll peel off, draw a few away. Thanks, Bode. Good luck. You too, Cal. See you soon. Can't shake him! Hold on! That's one way to do it. Learn that move from you. There's our exit. We're almost there. More coming in from the surface. And on our tail. We're trapped. Kill sound. We're almost... some hits back there. You mind running diagnostics while I transmit the intel? Send. Let's hope this information does some good. is vast, Troid. And I have seen only a little of what it has to offer. But one day, I will return to Dathomir and whisper what I have learned to my sleeping sisters. You are not invited. You know, it's not often I break out an old family recipe like this. Well, what do you think? Mara. It's good. Could use some more salt. Too much salt is bad for you. It's wonderful, Grace. I'd actually pay credits for this. Oh, yeah? Hey, I might start charging you, Cal. <laughs> Hey, does anybody else smell something burning?
Gyro's failing. We need that. Uh, any ports nearby that won't turn us in for a reward? <laughs> yeah. Pull up the Kobo system. That's where you settled down. Out in the middle of nowhere. Could be a good place to lay low. If anyone knows how to fix up the mantis, it's Grease Dritus. Think we can make it? We should tidy up before we visit Grease. You know how he is about mess. Get this back on the workbench. Great time to change up our equipment. This one's interesting. Ready to roll with this. Pretty proud of this one. We're almost there. Let's head up to the cockpit. Used these since the scrapyard on Braca. Prof gave them to me. Cordova's toolbox from Bogano. Most of his things are probably still there, waiting for someone. The Shio bird's feather is supposed to bring good luck. Huh. There's Grease's salt shaker. Where did I put the pepper? Every day I wonder if I made the right call. Failing all over. You got anything? Yeah. Starting sublight engines. Nice 
one, buddy. We're not gonna make it to the hangar. Gotta put her down. Hold on, BD. Flying again without repairs. Okay. This is us. This must be the outpost. I guess we finally get to see Grace's cantina. Okay. Come on. this. Come on, buddy. Long way to go. Okay. So Grease is on the other side of all this? Mind giving me a closer look? Is one big beast. We have our target. Now let's reach it. <laughs> Last time I saw a Lucre Hulk was Braca. Long time ago. Prof. What would you say now? Come on, Mantis won't repair itself. Let's hope Grease has the parts we need. Fine, buddy. like everything else around here. Look at this. Let's move. What's this? Doesn't look like this gate is working.
Halt, Trespasser. Battle droids. Very nice. Hey, this is a good find. How can you be sure? The ship is still. You make certain there are none. Get it. Oh, I get it. Understood. Let's take him out. Damage. These don't look like any separatists I remember. Bedlam Raiders? What has Grace gotten himself into? Buddy, over here. They talk. <laughs> nice work. That'll save some time. Good find, Beatty. Duck ship, huh? Tell me about it. <laughs> Wish we could help.
Don't they see the bigger picture? Negative. You don't see it either. But you're a droid. You don't have to. Raver sees. That's why I follow. Why we all follow. He has the strength to lead. A strength these prospectors will never have. They'll understand in the end. If there are any of them left, you, guard this area and leave that body. Let others see what happened here. Not that they ever get it. Gordon. are nothing but killers. Let's stop for a moment. When am I going to see that famous blaster of yours in action? Let's move, BD. Find something? A nest. Looks like it dragged its prey back here and... Priorite.
Should find somewhere to plant them. These blaster marks are messy. Lucky shots. It's okay. We're friends. What happened? We got ambushed by the raiders. I ran. I don't know where the others are. What are the raiders doing here? What they always do. Terrorize and rob folks just trying to survive on this rock. They've been digging around the old dig site. Hopefully, the roller mines will blow them all apart. Yeah. And hopefully they won't blow us apart. It's too dangerous for you here. You should go. I will. Once I know it's safe. What'd you find? These old dams aren't held together by much. Please let me go. We won't prospect in the gorge again. You hear that? No. Do it. Call it in. Another one down. Ravis will want to know. Do better. That's a scratch. Give it to the back.
asteroid down. A roll of mine? That is damn place. Oh, if I ever find out who made these things. All right, guard the area. There could be more of them. Or yeah, sir. Sir. Oh, so I guess this means I'm in command now. <laughs> I'm looking. You! I was... Trespassing. Blaster. Droid. Didn't miss these. Maybe we should take up prospecting, huh, BD? What are you doing down here? Waiting, watching, always watching. I keep guard. Lucky you, right? Right. I expect you're exploring. Seeking treasure, seeking glory. As luck would have it, there might be something right in front of you. <laughs> What have you found? You want to press it, right? First thing's a pack of punch. Okay, now let's find a way out of this tar pit. Check it out, PD. What are we doing here? Guarding. It's boring. When will we get some action? I want to put down some insurgents. Our orders are to guard, not to hunt. Come on, aren't you even a little bored? My circuits are seizing up. Ah, uh, my blaster could use field calibration. But that is not the point. Remain at your post. <laughs>
Glad you're excited. lived here is long gone. I wonder what they were making. should do it. Let's keep moving. We're almost there. This is really not pleasant. Hey, look at this. <laughs> Pulling me under. Let's see what's over here. Keep moving. I tell you to be more careful about who you scan? Come on. Should have left you in that rat tar nest.
combat is broken. Time is up. Within acceptable parameters. Uglings, you're a long way from Bagano. You think I can do that, BD? Haven't I seen you before? Not a bad change of scenery. Grease's place should be around here somewhere. Yeah. Look at that. Hey, quite the view, ain't it? That your ship came down, Dredger Gorge? Yeah, we had some, uh, technical problems. Probably met the Bedlam Raiders then. Attacked us as soon as we landed. Hmm. Glad you're okay. What y'all doing around these parts? Looking up an old friend. Grease Drydus? <laughs> Grease? Well, shoot, I know him. I, I run the stables in town. Uh, my name's Mosey. I'm Cal. This is BD-1. Why are you cute, little droid? <laughs> it's good to see a friendly face. Likewise. 
Well, pass seems clear from here. Shouldn't get in any trouble. Let's go looking for it. Oh, and uh, say hey to Domodendra when you get in town. She uh, doesn't take kindly to strangers. We understand. Thanks for the advice, Mosey. Bet. Didn't expect to see you so soon. Thought I'd check out the stables. Well, these ain't it. I'm just tending Brutus here. He's an echo. Stables down yonder in town, and if you find a beast you want saddled, drop on by. I'll keep an eye out, Mosey. Thanks. Only we had somewhere to plant them. Toss me a stim bud. Stim beady. Check it out, BD. Prior right.
One more word, and I'll end you right where you stand. You are welcome to try. Seeds. I could plant them, but where? Lone hunters, herds, all coexisting without the interference of the Empire. Or Jedi. <laughs> Looks like a data disk. Let's take a look. This building is definitely different than the rest. Found another shard. Another shard. Don't worry, I won't hurt you. Look at this little guy. Imagine being scared of something so fluffy.
target. Time to move. Give me a sec. I want to tweak a few things. Test the weight balance. Out. 
This is a nice one. Well fought, but you are outmatched. This is my tower. What do you want? To offer you something. A proposal. Toss me a stem. <sighs> this door's not budging. Give it a try. Not bad, huh? I feel great. There you are, good as new. Almost. Own wars weren't yesterday. Did we win? Nope. Oh no. Looks like another shard. Thank you. 
Seeds belong somewhere with fresh soil. Let that be a lesson to y'all. You come into my outpost, I'll hunt you down and kill you myself. Not bad. Come on, you blasted beast! Move! You come from Dredger Gorge? And still walking, huh? Well, folks don't last long around here. Especially ones poking around Raider turf. Wasn't exactly the welcome party I was looking for. Sounds like you could use a drink. Monk will whip you up something nice down in Paloons. Thanks for the tip. <sighs> How did I end up on this blasted planet in the middle of this blasted outer rim nowhere?
Hey, got a proposition for you. You interested in the opportunity of a lifetime? Maybe. Let's hear it. Some folks ventured into the mine just down yonder. No one's heard from them since. That's right, little droid. Could be the makings of a tragedy. Most things on Kobo are. Prospectors were looking for Priorite. Mine is chock full of the stuff. But saving those folks? That's the important thing, of course. I'll look into it. Now we're in business. Mine is just down yonder. You can't miss it. You tracked down those missing prospectors yet? Still working on it. Come on, we need answers. I need to clear my mind. Lucky you can't smell. Nice. Catch my breath. Gotta be a way out. Uh, somewhere. Been here a while. Maybe they're one of the missing prospectors. Creatures were killed by blaster fire. Check it out, BD. Prior right.
kind of creature lives down here. What's this? Look at this rib cage. Think the Bedlam Raiders would pay for fossils? Oh no. Gotta be one of the missing prospectors, buddy. Let's stop for a moment. hears about this right on his doorstep You're back. So, what did you find? Took down the Rancor that was stalking the mines, but I didn't find any prospectors. So, let me get this straight. No Rancor, no survivors, no competition? That Priorite's mine for the taking. You didn't care about the prospectors, did you? You just wanted the Priorite. I'm gonna level with you. Yes, and now that mine's all mine. Better be careful. Who knows if there's another Rancor down there. You're just yanking my chain, right? Right? We made it. It'll be good to see Grease again. Been a long time. Maybe he knows where the others ended up. See her stuck in the past. Marin wandering. Ancient history. Who's the stranger? You don't look like no raider to me. Quick, just act useless. Easy. We're not looking to cause any trouble. Where's the cantina? Right over there, newcomer. You can't miss it. Something you need. 
A priceless relic. The key we have been searching for. Except, of course, it's fake! I thought it was the real deal, Ravis. Honest! No. Oh. I believe you. But mistakes like these cannot be tolerated. Let this be a reminder of what happens when you cross the Bedlam Raiders! Kill him. Oh no! No! Enough. Walk away. A Jedi. <laughs> Remind our friend here why his kind are supposed to be dead. So long, Jedi. Not here, not now. I don't think so. Be slow, Jedi. Tricky. This job will Impressive. Next time you want to pick a fight, you go through us. <laughs> oh, what a delight to see one of your kind in action after all these years. Noble Jedi Knight, if you stay your hand, I shall withdraw in peace. All right, that, that's enough, Targo. Targo, get over here. Yes. You're Doma? Well, yes, I am. You got a name, Jedi. I'm Cal. The Speedy One. <laughs> We'd, uh, appreciate it if you kept this quiet. Hmm. Well, out here on the frontier, only way we survive is by sticking together. That's right. You didn't have to step in just now, but you did. Yes, you did. Turgle, hey. shut it. Hey. We'll keep your secret safe. Cal. I'm sure we could both benefit from it. Thanks. tell you enough how grateful I am you saved me. Anytime. And those moves! Incredible! Where did you learn to do that? I thought we agreed not to talk about that. Oh, right. Yeah, of course. But do you think you could teach me a few tricks sometime? 
I really don't want you to hurt yourself. But Doma says that's what I'm best at. Remember to swing by my shop later. Will do. You know, I once heard Turgo sing. How'd he sound? Like a TIE fighter slamming into a mountain. And if you're dying of thirst, well, our drinks, they ain't the worst. And if you're running from a blaster, better run a little faster. Run to Pie Loon Saloon, and we hope we see you soon. Ah, potential customer. What'll it be? Nothing. Thanks. Oh, well, that's a mistake. I'm looking for an old friend. Four arms. Hairy. Big mouth. Ow. Vertically challenged. You can come out now, old boy. The coast is clear. I'll tell you, Monk, the Bedlam Raiders are gonna be the end of this town. We got no hope. Zero. Zilch. Nothing. How you doing, BD? Ah. Wait a minute. <gasps> Cal. Cal, can't just get over here, you son of a bogling. Oh. oh, it's been a while. I missed you, kid. Hey. Let me look at you. <sighs> you look terrible. Yeah, it's good to see you too, Grease. <laughs> hey, are you taking care of him? Are you taking care of the Manus? Well, uh, we ran into some trouble on our last job. What sort of trouble? The Imperial kind. Oh, yeah, I should have guessed. They've been creeping around Kobo too lately. Gyro's burnt out on the Mantis. We'll need your help to get moving again. Yeah, sure, whatever you need. Come on, grab some seat. Listen, Monk, get my friend something special to drink. Refreshments. One slippery Monk coming right up. Welcome to Pilot Saloon, the finest dive this side of Zeltros. <laughs> yeah, your description uh, didn't do it justice. Here's sand in your eye. Monk and I picked it up from the previous owner to a... Well, uh, well... He caught a fatal case of blaster poisoning, courtesy of the Bedlam Raiders. We've been introduced. You okay, Grease? Oh, yeah, sure. <laughs> as long as I don't have anything they need. Hey, what happened to the Manus? Oh, we are on Coruscant, gathering intel for Saw Gerrera. Things got bad. Only two of us made it out. <laughs> Everything I'm doing feels pointless. The Empire's only growing stronger. Things, uh... haven't been the same since the team split up. Yeah, hey, we had some good times, didn't we, huh? Me, you, the Space Witch, Seer. Have you talked to her lately? Marin's always on the move, exploring new places, making new friends. I was talking about Seer. No. It's been a while. You? Well, her credits helped us get this place off the ground, but she hasn't visited yet. She's very busy with this new project. <laughs> hey, Cal. Why don't you relax a little before we fix the Manus? The galaxy can wait a couple hours. Well, we should probably get moving as soon as we finish up. I got a spare room down in the basement made up especially for you. You should check it out. All right. Thanks, Grace. So where's that room at again? The room? Oh, kid, you're gonna love it. Just take a right after the bar, through the kitchen, and down the stairs. You can't miss it. Right. Thanks again, Grace. Uh, yeah, yeah. You can thank me by getting some shut-eye. You really do look terrible. Don't want to know how this got there. Grease gets anxious around there. You've been working here for a while? A while. Though I'd hardly call it working. You see, that would imply we had regular customers. Shame. 
This place has potential. Yeah, that's the story I keep telling myself, Sport. That's the story. Why don't you head down to the basement? Check out your new digs. We can chat after you rest. You don't look like a raider. What gave it away? No blaster in my face. No spilling drinks and shouting bloody murder. Oh, cute Troy, too. That's Speedy One. I'm Cal. About dang time we had some new faces in town. I'm Zig, by the way. Nice to meet you. Great to see you. Keep walking, slick. Suit yourself. Well, what do you have to say for yourself? Is there a problem? I could have sworn I heard you stirring up a raider-sized problem just outside. I didn't start that fight. Well, it certainly seems you finished it. I'd love to chat, but I'd better finish my drink before the next fight breaks out. There's the kitchen. Basement must be through here. Kobo's pretty far from the nearest trade route. Looks like Grease makes do with salvage. Let's check this out later. I really need some rest. Scrapper outfit. Why did Grease keep this? I know. Creepy. That Sears Helix set. Wonder why it ended up here. Talking in your sleep, huh? Guess some things never change. Weirdo. Hairball. <laughs> Thanks for letting me crash here. Of course. Why do you think I've kept your stuff around all these years? I was hoping you'd stop by and maybe take a break. We both know what happens when I stay in one place too long. You said there's a spare gyro around here somewhere? We've got plenty of time to fix the madness. You are what I want to talk about. I'm fine. The sooner we get moving, the better. And then what? You're going to go find some trouble with Saw Guerrera? Maybe. Yeah. One of us has to keep fighting. That's funny. That's the exact same thing you said the day we all split up. Yeah, because I. All right, listen. I know you all had your reasons for leaving. But walking away isn't an option for me. I have to hold the line. And where's that gun, you Cal? I wish things were different, but you keep losing people. And you yourself said that the Empire is growing stronger every day. Now, maybe it's time for you to be something more than a lightsaber. Think about yourself. Settle down. Find a home. What? Home, Grease. There is no home. Home was the order. It was my teacher. It was everyone I lost. What does their sacrifice mean if I go and I just give up and stick my head in the sand? I know you were dealt a bad hand, but you got to take it from me. Somebody who had to learn the hard way. You got to know when to walk away from a rigged game. Otherwise, you are going to end up losing something you could never replace. I want to show you something.
This is a smuggler's tunnel. It came with the cantina. Now you go ahead and look. I keep a lot of spare parts down there. I'm sure you'll be able to find whatever you need to get the manis up and running. Thanks. I appreciate all this. Kyle, can I tell you one thing? It's really good seeing you again. Yeah, you too. Grease, I'll think about what you said. Hey, uh, watch your step down there. Be careful. <laughs> I definitely have a pest problem. Smuggling tunnels, huh? Grease always kept a few secrets up his sleeve. Nice job. What's poop grease? That's it. used these tunnels for a long time now. Dusty and abandoned. More scraps, huh? Leave it to Grease to take another person's junk and add more junk. Let me guess, more prospecting equipment. Is there anyone on Kobo who isn't digging for scrap?
that it? Never look when you can leap, eh? The sooner we get to Greece, the sooner we can... We should check this out. I need to focus. Z could tell us more about this. <clears throat> what is this place? I hear you, BD. Let's see. Let's see if we can hit the lights. Not bad. Think we could walk on that? Careful, BD. Sorry it has come to this. Will it be a complete memory purge? No. Only what the Council demanded. Then at least I shall remember you. I am ready. What is your name, droid? I am ZNA4, of course. How may I serve the order? Z. Tell me how to navigate the Kobo Abyss. I have no information on that in my memory banks. Master Kree, you are aware the Republic has issued a full-scale evacuation order. I am. That is why I have a very important task for you, Z. Take this. A tuna? Oh, what a fine model. Oh, my! Use that to open the forest array. Travel underground. Stop for no one. That is an order, Z. 
Am I not coming with you? No. The key to Tanalor is in that array. If you do not hurry, I fear it will be lost forever. May the Force be with you. Droid has been here for hundreds of years. This is BD. We're gonna help you. Pleasure to meet you both. Some help would be most appreciated. Completely, Z. I'm a Jedi, all right. But you're not even wearing the proper robes. I'm more of a poncho guy. Use the orbs to activate the bridge. Then you can reach the crane controls. Uh, I think. After so many idle years, who really knows? This droid's got more than a screw loose. What was that? I, uh, said... Hold tight, Z. took them. I was knighted in the field. And what was the reason for this flagrant breach of protocol? It's a long story. I take a look. Well, I, I must admit, I am in need of repair. Oh. So, Z, it's Tanalor. Hmm. A planet hidden within the Cobalt is. Hmm. It's home to a Jedi temple. of the Order's light on the galactic frontier. At least that's what my master hoped Tanalor might become. That should do it for now. Just gotta figure a way out of this place. Well, I can help with that. It's this... Was it that? No. Oh! Yes, it is this way. Follow me. Where we are? A meditation chamber. Master Kree designed these to train Jedi. I remember this. Don't recall what it does, however. Master Kree had a brilliant mind. Do you know her, Cal? Can't say I do. No matter, but I think she would have liked you. The exit is this way. I am very fortunate you came along when you did. Yeah, you could have been down here forever. That planet you mentioned. What's it like? Tanalor? A wondrous place. How do I get there? 
navigate the Kobo Abyss. That must be the knowledge your master purged from your memory banks. Well, she must have had her reasons. Spy. I'm a friend of Cal Kestis. Cal, what's it? Look, I told you, buddy, you're in the wrong cantina. I don't know anybody named Cal Kestis. Hey, Grease. Oh, that Cal Kestis. Found the gyro. You made it. Good to see you, Cal. Grease Drydus, this is Bodakuna. He was on Coruscant. Wouldn't have made it out alive without his help. Oh, all right. Hi, nice to meet you. Unfortunately, I don't think I have another bed available. Wait a minute. Another one? Cal, you have a very bad habit of picking up strays. I am ZNA4, humble servant to the Jedi Order. Oh, I take it you haven't broken the news yet. She was trapped underground. I've never seen this design before. This droid almost looks like an antique. Did you find anything down there worth credits? Credits? <laughs> Cal. You have saved me, but I must ask more to steal. Oh, here it comes. Master Centauri ordered me to open the forest array, but given my condition, I cannot fulfill that duty. Please. If I fail my mission, the key to Tanalor may be lost forever. Wait a minute. Did you just say Tanalor? You've heard of it? Yeah, it's an old prospector's legend about a lost world filled with treasure! Maybe this droid proves it's more than a myth. Could be worth checking out. Yeah, but first, I gotta fix the menace before the raiders snatch it. I'll escort you out there. Watch your back while you make the repairs. Huh. Is he as tough as he looks? Next to Seer, he's the best marksman I've ever met. Okay. We'll take care of the menace. I'll go see what's in the forest. Thank you, Cal. As soon as I am in full operating order, I will join you at the forest array! Onward! Uh, Z. Whoa there, Heritage. While they're all sallying forth, why don't you ease up on the thrusters? Come along. I can get you tuned up, shined up, and, uh, <clears throat> caught up on the state of the galaxy. Oh, sweet. Cal, I'm gonna lock up the saloon so the raiders don't trash it. My Use the back door, feet. would you? some serious firepower. That's not exactly what I want. Want to hear from my escort, pal. Relax. You're in safe hands. You'll be all right, Grease. If you say so. So how is Kobo? You get away from it all like you wanted? Oh, I had to, kid. Away from the Empire, the Haxian brood. Escape all the trouble. Trouble always seems to find us, Grease. Haven't you learned that by now? Ha! Huh, no kidding. Just like that old droid, huh? You think Z's trouble? Are you chaffing me? She sticks out like potpourri in a pod rate. Not that I'm too picky. You meet any more lost souls with sob stories, send them over to Pyloons, you hear? Place could use a little trouble. Good to see you landed on your feet, Cal. 
So, how'd everything turn out? Bravo's gone. I had a feeling. I'm really sorry, Cal. I know how much he meant to you. He was a good friend. They all were. I'll miss him. Definitely not your standard crew. I could tell that from the start. Yeah. Gabs, Bravo, the twins. We were close. I understand. Just remember that you're not alone in all this. Glad you're here, Boat. I got your back, brother. Thanks for looking after Grease while I chase down this lead. Twice the arms, twice the fun, right? More like twice the trouble. Ooh, can't wait. So, Bob you scrap Andrew. anything useful out here? Tons. As soon as something breaks or the raiders show face, folks have been in their projects. So Kobo's a gold mine for scrappers like us. <laughs> you got that right. Weird bucket of bolt you dragged in. Well, actually, she's a droid from the High Republic. Okay. Run along now. I can see why you sit alone. One second. The Republic is no more? I'm afraid so. In fact, these days, you'd be hard-pressed to name a planet free from Imperial control. Calamitous indeed. Heritage, you're looking a little low on power. Let's say we pause a tick so you can regain your bearings. Yes. Perhaps that would be best. Hey, Z. Know anything about that forest array? My memory banks are coming up short, Cal, but it is surely the work of Master Kree. How do you know? In her time, she had no equal. There were other scientists and technicians, yes. But all that you see here on Kobo is her work, one way or another. Not now, Cal. Why don't we catch up once you've returned from the forest array? Cal, another time, yes? I'm waiting my oil bath. You brought that droid in? Saved her too, huh? Just helped her get back on her feet. And he asked for nothing in return. Well, she did let me hang on to her tuner key. Ooh, a tuner key? What? You found a real one? That's right. Do you think I could maybe... You can't have... borrow it, Turgle. Ah. Uh. I'm really busy, Cal. Maybe later. Listen, friend, what's your name? It's Cal. Moran. Charm. You seem a decent sort, Cal. Look, maybe you're just the latest fool to get tangled up with the Bedlam Raiders, or maybe you're the real deal. But this place will bleed you dry. Understand? Get out while you can. Noted. Talk later, hmm? That can't be up to code, even out here on the frontier. Check out our kit. He's always had a green thumb. You know he talks to his plants? <laughs> Let's stop here. Well, 
Take a look, you'll find the finest components in sundries this side of the outer rim. Now that's a Domodendra guarantee. Hear that, buddy? A guarantee. That's right. Shop's built on trust and quality, and I aim to keep it that way. Oh, what a helpful droid. That's one of my favorites. Here you go. I knew you picked that up. Done. All sales. didn't say anything. Oh, right. Must be that ringing in my ears. The other day, this roller mine blew up, nearly took my head off. There is a building just off the path to Dredge Canyon. That's where the roller nearly got me. I bet they're guarding something useful, but I'm not going back there. Maybe we'll check it out. Be my guest and be careful. This ringing in my ears is driving me crazy! Hey, fellas. How long you been together? Too, Too long. long. We were one of the first people here and both tried scouting for Priorite. Had zero idea what we were doing. Couldn't find anything. Then I remembered I hate the outdoors. And I got a sunburn on my gastrodermis. Not fun. Then I caught sight of the most pathetic, bumbling prospector ever to walk the planet. Rumsey Forlo. Me too. Of course, we both started making fun of clumsy Rumsey. I laughed at Gulu Zingers. And I at Guido's. And we've been stuck together ever since because we shared something special. Rumsey was a loser. Still puts a smile on my face. So long. Eh.
A shard. Let's trade it at Doma's shop. Newcomer. You heading to the cantina anytime soon? Probably. I dare you to put a restraining bolt on Monk. Why would I do that? Because he won't serve me anymore. Tab, schmab, I'll give him credits when I got credits. Good to see you. Glad you came to Kobo, Cal. You're a hard worker, aren't you? You're always putting others before yourself. How can you tell? Smudge of dirt on your pants, a whiff of adrenaline. Your eyes dart for danger, alert. I call it hunter's eyes. To trap game, a hunter refines her ability to observe. But for the record, your friendly demeanor don't fool me one bit. That uh, right. Oh, yeah. You're a natural hunter, and you damn well know it. Who taught you to hunt, Mosey? Oh, yeah, I grew up in a large family. My siblings and I competed with one another for attention, praise, food sometimes. Had to be the strongest to stand out. Sounds intense. Yeah, Mama was hardest on me. Always pointing out a mistake, criticizing my techniques. That must have toughened you up. Yeah, it likely did. But I've come to resent it. Probably the reason why I flung myself here. I barely knew my parents. Yeah. Well, that ain't always a bad thing now, is it? How did Boglings end up on Kobo? You can thank Grease for that. He brought him here on accident, is what I heard at least. Raiders kill him in droves. I've seen him. Why would anyone kill a Bogling? Exactly. You can't eat him. Can't skin him. Can't even trade with him. One of the Bedlam Raider chiefs used to shoot him for fun. Just point me in his direction. Don't bother. I handled it already. All right. Talk soon. <clears throat> it's locked down. Who it is. Keeping busy. There's always something to do. Well, you won't make a living talking to me. Unless you mean to rob me. Wasn't planning on it. Well then, have a wonderful day. Hey, you! You're the one taking shots at the Raiders, right? That's me. Bad idea. The Raiders have got eyes all over the Reach. Took down that watchtower, if that's what you're referring to. Oh, yeah? Well, let's hope there aren't any consequences for the rest of us. Hello there. Twenty cycles ago, heard this town was nothing but a few shacks. Now look at it. Yeah, sometimes I wish I could go back there, see what it was really like to rough it. You could always head into the wilderness and start your own town. I think I'll stay here, thanks. They don't look friendly. Let's get going, BD-1. Do your magic, BD. Excellent.
Well, hey there, traveler. <laughs> Hi there. Don't mind the beast. She don't like strangers. The mountain don't neither. You be careful. I'll try. Thanks. Prospector's folly, we call it. Pretty treacherous. Crawling with all kinds of dangers. Sounds like our kind of place. There's stuff beyond these crags that make your blood run cold. Oh, we could tell you some stories. the platform is somewhere else. Careful. There's nothing to worry. Whoa! I got you, Shanna. Thanks. <sighs> What's your name, lad? If I'm to hold a grudge, best to know the name. I'm Cal. This is BD-1. My bantam old mum dubbed me Scuba Stev. Scuba the Fisher, am I? You know, there's a fish tank down in Pylon Saloon that could use some attention. Pylon Saloon? That will have infested watering hole down in your valley. All right, all right. You know, yeah. Ah, fine, twist my arm. I'll do it. Meet me at the saloon and we'll appraise this so-called tank. Guess not. You're the aspect of a fisher lad. And uh, lucky for you, we're perched just above the lair of the sea fish. Sea fish, huh? That's right. An impossible catch. No fisher in the right mind would pursue such a quarrelsome foe. No fisher, but scuba stem. That was pretty impressive. You still think I'm small time, eh? No, I believe well, it. Uh, I've no choice but to regale you with my bleak most history. Tell me a moment, and I'll tell you a thing or two about old Scuba Stave. So, you wish to prick up your ears and receive the tale of Scuba? If you're sharing stories, we'll listen. Then you be a fool, my lad. A sordid tale will bring you nothing but grief and woe. Okay, well, if you're not sharing stories, we'll... Oh, fine, I'll tell you. At your own assistance, and at your own peril. My story begins in a small village on the frozen banks of Sakavita. My home world. Nights black as quellfish in it. Winter so cold, a stern look could turn you to glass. Doesn't sound like the easiest place to grow up. Difficult, eh? From the moment your mother's milk froze on your tongue to the moment you found it upon frozen streets. You see, the fishes, they had the right of it. They dwelt far below the ice, where warm currents danced like ribbons in the wind. To fish so scarce a quarry, on account of the great fish famine, well, it's nearly a mild undertaking. But for all the belly aching now, there's a peaceful enough life for a wee Sakavian with an instinct for the rod. So you discovered your talent early. Such a talent was I, that as a lad, me hardly spotted my first prickly chin here. I was given an audience with Undun. But that'd be a tale for another time. Oh, and uh, some advice, lad. If you're planning to scale the mountain, need to give a strong grip.
see if Doma's interested in this. Let's see what's up ahead, buddy. Let's go. This won't be easy. Think of the reward, Shanna. Come on. Okay. The seeds. Can't do anything with it without a garden. Nice. through, officer. <laughs> Nothing that ain't made a Dura steel is passing through this electron wall. Weapon's hot, sir. Let's shoot it before he gets ideas. Negative. We've got our orders. Sure you can't make an exception? You smell that, scum? That's imperial air you're breathing. So get back before I forget my orders and we see how tough you really are. Why don't you drop the shield and we'll find out? Nice try, Vermin. Lucky for you, this gate's got a remote switch. Only base command can open it. You will lower the shield. I... Uh... I already showed you my authorization. You... already showed me your authorization. Uh, sir? TK-783 to base command. Lower the shield. What? Why'd you ask me here? I don't like you, and you don't like me. That's right. But you annoy me a lot less than the others in this go-nowhere town. And I think you feel the same. What are you saying? Out with it already. I'm saying this is a date. And we're on it. And if you don't like it, too bad.
I am programmed to obey. I don't know why I am. It's all right. Good job. Not a bad find. I get it. They're weird things. I'd like to know what's in them, too. But we don't have that kind of time or resource. So, no. And please stop asking. Unstoppable as ever, BD. Find something?
Need to open this. for sure, but it's missing something. There we go. All set. on an empty stomach, Scuva? Hey, I, I can't succumb to the passions of the stomach. The Garpon must live. I'd better get me mind off it. Then spin your tail. Where are we? Ah, yes. By virtue of my prodigious fishing talents, I was taken to see the mysterious one they call Undun. I can see it still. We, Scuva, ushered the De Jong black-mouthed key. I could barely make out a figure glinting with moonlight. I scrubbed my eyes like a, a old tar scrubbing the deck. And there she was, a vast creature. Great tentacles blooming from her blubber, like cables gorging on a fuel tank. One of the tentacles twitched into the air, just over my head. And then, wham! Right on the noggin, so I'm told. I staggered out the cave like a lover first acquainted with the deck. But something else happened. I think when that fell tentacle struck me, Undun took something straight out to my brain and put something else in. She put something in your brain? Aye, boy. The subtle art of catching a fish. The art of focus. And in the dark, with nothing but the bristles on your chin for company. That focus is special. From that day forward, when I plunged my line into the frigid waters, it would emerge with a fish. In three times out of seven. That's less than half. My marriage told me that I'd be the one to save them from the great fish famine. Little did I know that the grapnel was soon to arrive on our shores. Gonna assume that's a bad thing. Perhaps, lad. And perhaps not. But that'll be a story for another time. <laughs> Have you 
Have you two had any run-ins with the Raiders? They wouldn't dare. And we don't do much running. But I do hate what they've done to this outpost. I hate how they are always rooting through our outpost scrap heaps. I hate how they scream all the time. You haven't had your beauty sleep in months. <laughs> Looking at you, you haven't had beauty sleep in the past hundred cycles. <laughs> <laughs> What? Ah, you troublemaker. You check out those rollers in the building yet? Still working on it. Quality wears 100% guaranteed. Looks good to me. I held that one just for you. Yeah, some good for nothing raider triggered the security on my storeroom door, and now it's locked shut. Maybe your little droid can use this encrypted backup code to get it open. My goodness, you unlocked it. Feel free to take whatever you can make use of. Catch. Found that building you told me about with the roller mines. Really? And how's your hearing? Mine's okay. Thanks for the warning. Lucky you! Find anything of value? I did stumble upon a stash. Oh, good. Well, you deserve it. Now, if only I could get rid of this ringing in my ears. Barely escaped Coruscant, Grease. Wish I had you by my side. Yeah, me too. There'd be less to repair on the Manus. You ever have any close calls like that? Oh, yeah. I was on the Ryloff system one time. Suddenly, I see three modified light corvettes on my tail. Oh, yeah, it was bad. Weekway pirate. I tried every evasive move in the book. Full throttle, I couldn't lose them. So how'd you escape? 
I managed to divert the power from the ship's climate control to its engines. It gave me the extra boost to shake those pirates off, <laughs> and a new trick to push the Mantis whenever I needed it. That's why the Mantis always gets colder at full speed. A greasy secret. Don't you tell nobody. You never told me where you're from, Bode. Here and there. Spent a lot of my life on Biren. That's where Kata was born. Ever been? I haven't. Hmm. In a rim. Sleepy, but it suited us for a while. Until it didn't. Oh, don't sweat it, BD. You take the good with the bad, right? There were good times on Biren, too. Gotta remember those. Otherwise, how do you go on, you know? Keep an eye on Grease for me, alright? Don't worry, Cal. You handle the mystery in the forest. I'll handle Grease. You worry about the array, whatever that is. We'll handle the Mantis. I wonder if Kobo will have any legends about me. <laughs> Maybe I'll go spread a rumor or two. Go on. I gotta focus on sussing out your boy here. I wish those raiders would just leave us alone. Every time they smash things up, I'm the one who's gotta fix them. The outpost is lucky to have you. Sure. I just wish I could build something that couldn't be knocked down, that's all. Yeah, me too. Gets lonely patching up the outpost on my own. Be nice if I had a partner. Kobo's a big planet. There's gotta be someone out there who thinks like me. So how long have you known Bo? Not long. We worked together on Coruscant. And what line of work, exactly? A little of this, a little of that. I see. Say no more, Cal, say no more. I know when I'm about to step in it. <laughs> Actually, that reminds me of a colorful expression from Calistar. If you stand beneath the Presta Bird nest, rain will come even in the desert. And when the rain comes... You best get out of the way. Still here, Cal? That's a rain won't open itself, you know. Cal, let's chat later. Z and I are catching up on the state of the galaxy. Sorry, Cal, but I'm busy tending to heritage here. Well, that reminds me. I should check on that oil bath soon. Say, Cal, would you like to buy my guide to Kobo? Not really. Good, because I haven't written it yet. But if you want to know something, I have all sorts of tips for Kobo visitors. Like what? Give information out for free? Come on, Cal. A frog's got to make a living. Hiya. You know, you've got a core world air about you. It's becoming. You from the core? Guilty as charged. I studied the galactic economy with some of the greatest minds of Coruscant. Then watched those same minds ooze into obscurity while real opportunity whistled by. Real opportunity? Oh, you know, tax-free trade, extrajudicial imports, what have you. Oh, you mean smuggling. What I mean is that the galaxy is begging to fill your pockets if only you play its game. Another time. Focus. That's the gate Z told us about. Let's take a look.
Seeds. Wonder where I could plant these. Set BD. Do what you gotta do, buddy. Prior right. Wonder what this will fetch a dumb a shot. Another shard.
Someone's near. Good job, BD. I could plant them, but where? Check it out, BD. Prior right. The Imperial Patrol should route through here any minute now. The sooner the better. Did you see that? Give me more! Nice hit! Trusting! Pathetic! These raiders are keeping the Empire at bay. At least they're good for something. The array should be out here somewhere. Only way forward is to cut through. You catch that too, BD? We're not alone out here. Looks like it's blocked. Sit tight, BD. Let me see what I can do. Good to go, BD. Let's try that again. Some of these rock columns are loose. This is a nice one. What do you think this array is, buddy? Centauri Kree said it held the key to Tantalor. Z seems to think so too. Only one way to find out. Empire. I don't think they saw us. Let's move.
Come on, buddy. Raiders don't like the imps any more than we do. Fight together. Must have shot this drop pot all the way from the Lucre Hulk. Get a drop on these bucket heads. Generations of Raka raised their young here. Then the Empire tore through, shot and trampled anything that got in their way. Okay, I'll look. Before she was damaged, there's no way Z could have made this journey. And of course, back in Kree's day, there was no empire to contend with. But I would give to see a glimpse of that galaxy. Uh, easy, easy. I'm not looking for trouble. Wow. Don't worry. I'm a friend. Ah, oh, Mother of Moons, that's a relief. I'm useless in a fight. 
Came to see that incredible High Republic structure. Didn't expect to have to fight off beasts with my field journal. Sorry, rambling. Bad habit. D I'm Toa, by the way. I'm Cal. This is BD-1. Listen, the Empire is not gonna be happy to find you out here. Why don't you head back to the Reach? I think I will take you up on that. You get a good look at that structure? Only enough to see there's no way I'm getting inside. But we're lucky. It looks intact. If I'm right, it's been out here for centuries. Maybe you'd have better luck than I did. It's right up ahead. Thanks for the tip. What's the best place to get a drink in the Reach? I hear Pailoon Saloon is the spot to beat. I was afraid you'd say that. One day, someone will open up another cantina. what they were shooting at? A spy droid. Someone else has eyes out here. Maybe the raiders? Keep your eyes peeled. The Jedi's been spotted nearby. Don't say that. I I'm not ready for combat. Then get ready. <clears throat> Let's try not to end up like that guy. Another data disk. The array's close. Just a forest full of beasts and Imperials to get through first. <laughs> Let's hope we don't need it. Matchmaker, huh? You found another far fish before? Uh, no. But fishing's about leaving the world better than you find it. 
A ripple's only as good as the stone you cast. Every tale, lad. The tale continues. When we last spoke, I warned of the grapnel's arrival. That great ship came descending on us like an anchor cut in the deep. Ne'er a more fearsome ship did you clap by on. She was sharp, like a... like a... like a fish. Like the nose of a bony fish. She had three great claws. Aye, the, the landing gear. But when her great jaws parted... Aye, aye, the loading ramp. Now, now, will you hush and let's go to tell the story? <sighs> her great jaws parted, disgorging her dread crew. A more vile pack of fisher folk you never did see. And led by the vilest of them all. Captain Wan Yek Wet, the bearded bezel is back that he intended to fish in our waters. Trophy hunters they were, in search of the most rare catches. Well, we Sakavians refused. We had the great famine to contend with, see? Every fish was precious. But the ferocious captain didn't care for our troubles. With a belch, he produced from his creel a mighty harpoon. Wait! cried Wee Scuba, hopping off of his rock. I know these waters like the taste of my own tongue. There'll be few fish beneath yon ice. But, continued I, if you take me with you, and if you leave my village be, uh, I could show you how to coax the rarest of fishes onto your line. Aye. Uh, the dread captain stroked his briny beard. After a long moment, he held out his hand and grinned most terribly. Lord, said he, you be in luck. I be requiring another for my crew, one who knows the curve of the sea. Oh, Cal, if I could only go back to that moment when I shook Captain Wet's rigid hand, if only I'd never stepped off my wee rock, but my encounter with Undan had given me a taste for the unknown. I couldn't resist the call of adventure. And I had to save my people. So, I left with the grapnel, thinking the business done. I would be a fisher for Captain Whit. Of course, my adventure had only begun. For just when the grapnel hit orbit... More trouble, I take it? Ah, but I've havered on long enough. I come back another time and I'll, I'll tell you more. Need to center myself. Back to it. <laughs> that must be another one of those High Republic chambers. What do you say, buddy? Up for a little detour? Welcome, Jedi. Centauri Kree. The path that we must walk is not always immediately visible to us. Only through patience, careful thought, and the wisdom of the Force will the way appear.
They believe something is behind the abyss? That's right. A planet. Well, I hope it's worth all this effort. Centauri Creed is shook from a challenge. No, and she seems exceptionally driven by this particular task. And, uh, what's the point of this? Okay, no, I can figure this out. My Padawan is impatient. Weren't we all once? The question is, how will he overcome it? Z might know about this. BD, 
A little help? What? I wonder how long this has been here. Let me see. plant them, but where? Don't know what that stuff is, but definitely doesn't look safe. Huh? Looks old. So you might want to take a look at this. substance has anything to do with the array? <laughs> it's hard to breathe. This is the work of Santari Cree. If the rest of Z's story is true, the key to Tantalor should be around here somewhere. I need to focus.
keep moving, buddy. No cutting through this stuff. High Republic data disk. I bet C would have some use for it. Power's out. This place must have been abandoned and forgotten. But I guess C didn't forget. All these years later, and she never gave up on her mission. We can't let her down. Creature is trapped. I can't cut it free. Let's pass under it for now. Find another path. We might be able to help you later. Ugh, that thing. Sheds. Something around here has a big appetite. I'm feeling weak, BD. I've never seen tech like this before. I... Scrap some serious machines on Braca.
We've seen this tech before, just not on this scale. Huh. Just like Z's chamber. Z would know more about this. Maybe Z could tell us more about this. old. So you might want to take a look at this. No way we're crossing that still breathing. All the critters around the array are pretty riled up. Could be the dust in the air. Imperial patrols probably don't help either.
This'll come in handy. trouble. Or maybe it could lend us a hand. Nice. here. Look at those. Careful, BD. I don't know what else to say. Seer, I, I, I thought... No, you didn't think. You perceived a threat and reacted. If the Order had reacted faster, we'd still have a Republic. The Empire, the Haxine brood, half the galaxy wants us dead. Yes. <laughs> the odds are against us. But they will always be against us. Cal, you can't fight your way out of some situations. This isn't the time to fight. Now this is more of my speed.
You know just where to look. Look at that. structure is the array. But what's it for? Why did they post me here? I don't even know what this thing does. Another data disk. Did the trick. Let's move. I wonder how long they were stuck in this stuff. Looks like that weird matter around here can take on various forms. Let's hope that tower at the top of the array has some answers. old. So you might want to take a look at this.
Maybe Z could tell us more about this. interested in the array. We've searched all over the array, buddy. This is our last stop. If the key to Tantalor is real, it has to be here. And if not, maybe Z does have a screw loose. Okay, I'm ready. That seal looks familiar. This must be where Centauri Kree intended to send Z. The key to Tantalor was sealed away. For centuries now. That did it. it sounds like the array is powering up. Time for some answers. Welcome to Tantalor. It's beautiful. Remind me not to let you name the next world we discover. Give it time. You didn't like me much at first either. Jury's still out. Hard to believe this paradise was hiding on just the other side of the abyss. Come on. I want to show you something. Renowned Jedi Knight Dagon Gara offers to be my escort on an uncharted world. <laughs> How could I refuse? Without your guidance, I'd never have made it here in one piece. Oh, careful now. Or well, someone might think you've learned humility. The force is strong here. It's just as I told you. We'll build the temple here. Yes. My thoughts exactly. Simply wonderful. Yes, it's perfect. I've seen the galaxy, Santari. And there are many worlds that the light of the Jedi does not reach. I'm going to petition the High Council to train initiates here. Fontana Law. But it can be so challenging to access. 
What if something were to go wrong? Our temple will be a bastion for the Order. Here at the Galactic Frontier. The Abyss blocks comm signals. We'll have to invite a member of the Jedi Council to visit in person. Hmm. They've been in there for hours. Council members are not known for their hasty judgments. Especially Master Rancesis. My duel with the Gendai didn't take this long. You won in the end. Be patient. Not one of my strong suits. Well, if you're going to teach younglings, you had better learn. I have faith in you. So does the Council. Trust them to do the right thing. What's wrong? Warn the others. We're under attack. You're not supposed to be here. Release me. Please. I'm Cal. Cal Kestis. And you must be Dagon Gera. Yes, I am. You are a Jedi? Yes. But things have changed since you've been gone. A Sith Lord corrupted the Republic. Turned it into an empire. They destroyed the Order. They're hunting down those of us that are left. But... You're here now. We can fight them. Together. Return to Tanlor. 
What happened there? How'd you end up here? We were invaded. I held them at bay as long as I could, but there were too many. The battle was horrific. Still, we weren't beaten. Not yet. Not until the Jedi Council gave the order to abandon Tantalor and then refused to counterattack. They gave up on it? Yes. It was my discovery, my home, and they just expected me to throw it away. Dagon, wait. I refused to obey and was betrayed by the one I trusted most. No, stop! <laughs> <laughs> Trade me and forsook Tanor. Why resist? Such a chore. Prisoned again. You dare stand against me? Stop! I am not your enemy. We're all that's left. Honor your oath. <laughs> Wait. Dagon? How could she entrust Tantalor to someone like him?
Tanalor was supposed to bring us closer. But all it did was divide our order. The Council may have given up on you, but I know who you truly are, Dagon. Even if you yourself have forgotten. She had such faith in him, that she never had to see him fall to the dark side. Not a bad view, huh, buddy? Wonder if Grease and Boat fixed the Mantis by now. Off we go. Maybe we should take up prospecting, huh, BD? is real, and it may be the last corner of this galaxy that's safe from the Empire. I wish you could have seen it too, BD. <laughs> Looks like seeds. Better hold on to them until I can find good soil. What'd you find? Just found her ticket out of here. Easy. We won't hurt you. Trade this at Doma's shop. We can clear that gate with a little boost from our new friend.
Another shard. There they are. <laughs> These buildings are ancient, older than anything else we've seen on Kobo. Let's take this to Doma's.
Good, Neko. Can't do anything with it without a guard. Looks like the Mantis is back in action. Come on, BD. Let's meet him at the landing pad. against a roller mine. But where are we gonna find one around here? Trust in the Force, Padawan. What is it, buddy? Ready to go. <laughs> Get 
Get around faster now. Here we go. Z, you're looking good as new. Indeed. That mechanical mixologist is a miracle worker. <laughs> I must know, did you locate the key to Tanalor? Uh, it's complicated. But we'll find it. Monk told me what transpired while I was asleep. To think the Jedi Order is no more, that must have been dreadful for you. We have both been through so much. But we must persevere, Cal. After all, what else is there to do? That's right. We've got room for one more? I shall remain here, but if you need my counsel, I will be at the saloon. I am very fortunate to have met you, Cal Kestis. found something out there. Oh yeah, what do you got, another holocron? Jedi, from the time of the High Republic, somehow preserved him back to Dagon Gera. I freed him. What happened? He attacked me, escaped with the Bedlam Raiders. He's who they've been looking for. Says the Jedi betrayed him and turned to the dark side. Are you okay, kid? Tantalor. It's real grease. It's hidden somewhere in the abyss. Oh, that's impossible. The Abyss eats any ship that gets too close. The Republic found a way through hundreds of years ago. That's why they built that array in the forest. A hidden world that nobody's been able to reach for centuries. If you figured out how to cross the Abyss, you could just... disappear. Completely. No Bedlam Raiders. No Bounty Hunters. No Galactic Empire. I'm just spitballing here, but that does sound like a place that someone could call home. Yeah. Yeah, it could be a home. Get your feet down. Ah. All right, I'm going back to the cantina. You know, Grease, we could use a real pilot. I don't know. I mean, you're doing okay on your own. I mean, you could clean the Patoli weave every now and then. We day. don't know the Mantis like you do. Nobody does. Oh, Cal, I'm, I'm sorry. My best days are behind me. I, I can't even hold my card steady. I know things are different from how they used to be, but I'm not sure I could do this without you. Is that really how you feel? It is. Well, I mean, I guess I could. Have Monk keep his eye on the saloon. Greasy money. <laughs> All right. <laughs> you in? I mean, there's not going to be much in the way of credits. Cal, this is better than any score. Imagine, no more looking over your shoulder. A safe place for us, for the ones we love. If anyone knows about a lost Jedi world, it's here. Jedi! Aha! It's about time you paid that lady a visit. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna make us some food before we go. So who's this seer we're going to see? A mentor of mine. 
Rescued me from the Empire on Bracca and dragged me halfway across the galaxy. Sounds like you two went through a lot together. We did. Been a long time since I've seen her. How's it feel to be back on the Mantis? Good. Thinking about whipping up some curried burra fish. Kitchen looks in better shape than the rest of the ship, kid. I definitely saw less action since you left. You're telling me. The spice levels haven't moved. Did you cook even one decent meal for yourself these last years? I'm not half the cook you are, Grease. And maybe only three quarters the pilot. Very kind, but the first chance we get, I'm making you a plate of Great Granny Pyloon's Umber Hatch. My favorite. Can't wait. So? We headed to Jeddah or what? Want to set out? In my experience, you gotta chase a lead when it's hot. The new fella. Howdy. Howdy back at you. If you're looking for a side, you might want to trek to the higher edges of the canyon. Is it worth the hike? I wouldn't know. Never been there myself. I'm too steep to climb. And there's a lot of creatures up there. Some of them won't even eat you. Sounds like paradise. It's a tough climb, but you'll find a way up. And you'll see the true majesty of Kobo. I just know it. A lot of raider activity these days. How you two holding up? Us? We're always yeah, fine. Yeah, we're fine. It's the others I worry about. You do? That's kind of you. Yeah. We worry that if they keep being such cowards, they'll be dead by tomorrow. And then we'll have no one left to make fun of. To be honest, that's really what gets us through the day. Mocking turgles like drinking water. And shaking our heads at that whiny slump Moran. I'm starting to feel better already. I guess some things never change. And that's how we like it. Something you need? Eh. Stay away from my prior eye, Cash, you hear? When is it ever not bad with you? Stakes were raised, Mosey. The way Zeke was looking at me, with his crazy eyes. I swear if Cal weren't there, I would have been six feet under. Speak of the Gundark, there's your savior. Hey there, Mosey. You stop into Pyloons often? I check in every now and then. Raiders like to pick on the helpless. And your axe screams, fight me! I dare you! I double dare you! You two time and dirty! All right, all right, settle down. How long have the Raiders been here? A few years. Not long after I arrived. I don't know a planet in the Outer Rim free of Raiders in general, but these Bedlam bastards have changed Kobo forever. Most hunters know you call when you need to, and you stop hunting when a herd gets too low. These Raiders kill for sport, and made a lot of those beasts much more hostile to us. Take Shiverpedes, for example. When they lose habitat, they get territorial and fight back. Same as us, really. Sure enough. Biggest mistake our kind ever made was thinking we are any different. Later, BD. Cal, I gotta confess something. Here we go. That tech I tried to sell to Ravis, there's more of it in the valley. A building right in the center. You can't miss it. So I was thinking, you head there and check things out and we split whatever you find 50-50. We'll see, Turgle. Cal, look at this saloon. 
Monk's been really busy. And I helped by staying out of the way. Did you know there's even a garden on the roof? Rooftop garden, huh? That's right. What are you waiting for? It's just up the stairs. Go check it out. Hi, Cal. Greetings, Sojourner. Just Cal will do. It will not. Okay. You don't look like the other prospectors. No, no, no. They unearth riches. Too locked excavates that which cannot be so easily grasped. Make a lot of credits in that line of work? Wisdom is a good that never decays, and is always in short supply. Now is not the time to speak. This stage has seen better days. Barkeep? Huh. What can I get you? How about putting a lock on the door so that slimy wretch won't wander back in? Turtle? <laughs> no can do. We need all the business we can get. And how about paying off that brute and his gang so I can drink undisturbed? Sorry, Big Wheel. We're not exactly flush with credits. And I don't think Ravis is on the take. Ah, <sighs> figures. Another drink it is. I know what you are, for what it's worth. Do you now? Sure. The way you carry yourself. That saber on your belt. I won't say anything, of course. Why not? The bounty could be your ticket off-world. And I've already told you enough about my past business to land me in an Imperial intake yard. Guess I'll have to settle for honor among outlaws. Look, I know what it's like to have a losing streak tied around your throat. And I respect anyone who keeps fighting even when the chips are down. You're a hard man to read, Moran. Then, as they say, I've still got it. Strangest thing, I was enjoying a lively constitutional earlier today. Really? You? I deserve that. Anyway, I saw the strangest duo putting around the far side of the valley. One was tall and quiet, one short and babbling. They had stopped to inspect some beastly carcass. This had you written all over it. I deserve that. See you around, Cal. Let's see what we find up here. Ah, what? Cast your eyes over this beauteous tank. Glad you came around to it. Hey, didn't he make a fetching first impression? Have a mind to get our third scrubbing. Cleaning the filter, you think someone tried to crab a moss through a sieve? Oh, can't unhear that. Cal, you've seen that waterfall near the forest, right? Is that the spot the raiders like to camp out at? Afraid so. Those abominable bullies. Why, this gem of a planet ought to be enjoyed by one and all. So our expedition is a no-go? Not unless you want to dodge some blaster fire. Uh, no thanks. Is there anywhere on this planet where one can relax safely with friends? Eh, there's a few raider-free pockets left. But Kobo ain't what it used to be. I'll leave you to your new friends. Catch you later, Cal. Oh, hey, it's you. I saw you tearing through the woods. Remember me? Name's Toa. I'm a historian. Freelance, these days. Cal, also freelance. You planning on doing more exploring? Of course. This is my first time beyond the Mid-Rim, but I can already tell this place is a trove. Centuries ago, folks couldn't wait to scratch out a living under a new sky. And hell, they sure chose a vibrant world. Vibrant, huh? Hey, let me know if you find any more of those chambers, yeah? Will do. Cal, I heard about a meditation chamber. You gonna check it out? Oh, I wish. It takes some serious acrobatics to access it, and... <laughs> I could give it a shot, Toa. A shot? This coming from the guy who scales basalt pillars in the time it takes me to date my field journal. <laughs> Happy hunting, you two.
We'll talk soon. Cal! How good to see you! You too, Z. Should you find any data discs from my day, I'd be happy to decrypt them for you. I imagine there are many that remain lost on Kobo. We'll let you know if we do. Cal, I hope I'm not intruding, but what happened to your Jedi Master? He... died during the Purge. Gave his life so I could escape. I can still hear his last words. Trust only in the Force. Oh, Cal, I am so very sorry. It was a long time ago. Two centuries later, and Master Kree's last directive still rattles my memory banks. I'll never forget. But that's how they're still with us. I think you're right about that. Cal, I always adore seeing you. But you won't find the key to Tanador in this cantina now, will you? I heard Monk brought you up to speed on Rift. Could you use this? Understand? How can this shameful empire remain in power? I don't know anything. Can't go wrong with this. There's money in Imperial salvage contracts. Plus, for most of us, life has not changed too drastically. Oh, don't spare my circuits. Tell me what you really think. Well, sure, things are different. Back home, practically every lab is under military funding. But things are a lot like under the Republic. We go about our lives, send delegates to the Senate, vote. What a vote is worth these days. It's so difficult to imagine a galaxy without the Jedi. Like a drive call without its Redonian spark. This place could use some greenery. I wonder if I could find someone to help. There you go, little seed. Plant some seeds. Let's plant this here. This would be a good place for it. It's 
spot to grow. Garden's looking kind of respectable. Focus. Ready to go? Welcome, welcome. Make yourself at home. So how did you end up on the wrong side of the law? After my studies, I worked in the Republic Tax Collection Agency investigating revenue disputes. You were a tax collector? Sounds pretty legitimate so far. Drearily legitimate. But it did introduce me to a steady procession of people desperate for things to shake out in their favor, so to speak. And you helped them out for a price. Yes. But my fee was nothing compared to the price they paid at the hands of a corrupt system. Whatever you say, Moran. Not now. Barkeep. So what'd you do before you came here? I used to perform in a medicine show. I was required to dress in garish outfits and read fortunes while others would scam the audience. That sounds a little demeaning. Yes, but the experiences we carry always have a use, Sojourner. When I arrived on Kobo, I noticed a charlatan trying to swindle someone with fool's priorite. How'd you know? He wore long sleeves in the heat. Sleight of hand, huh? I saw a merchant on Karelia do that. An old trick. Well, I stopped the sale, and Doma has been grateful ever since. And the swindler? Tried the trick on the raiders, so I hear. And see. Sojourner. You're back. Guess you're not dead. Hope you weren't placing any bets. Please. It'll take more than cutting down that chump Zeke to impress me. Take down a real killer. Then maybe I'll wager a credit or two. Barkeep. Good to see you, Cal. Till next time, pal. Word is there's a traveling troubadour and a DJ droid from the Core Worlds on Kobo. 
Not what I expected you to say. Any idea why they're there? They've hiked out onto the valley plateau to sample the sounds of the wild. And the sounds of the wild can come from creatures that kill you. Can't drop those beats if you're dead. I'll see if I can find them. I suspected as much. Cal, how do you and Grease meet? I was working on Brock as a scrapper. Grease gave me a lift when I needed it most. The way he tells the story, seems you gave him a lift too. That's so. He never said the words exactly, but when I wanted to turn that back room of yours into storage, <laughs> he threatened to replace me with a conchroid. People show their affection in strange ways, don't they? Yeah, Monk. I guess they do. Careful out there, sport. Seems plenty of sinister fellows are coming out of the woodwork these days. You're back! Oh, it's really good to see you. And it's good to see you, too. How are things around here? Between you and me, I think the management is much improved. No more raider trouble here? Any threats we should be aware of? Well, not since you put Ravis on the run. Come to think of it, they've been very quiet since then. That's what worries me. Don't worry about this place, Cal. I have everything under control. Did he really stand up to that mean mug with the regenerating limbs? His limbs regenerate? <laughs> That's right. There's all sorts of mean critters on Kobo. But every one of them would run for the hills after one look at Ravis. But you stood your ground, Cal. Probably wasn't the smartest move. But it felt right. You know what you fight for. And you're not afraid of a challenge. Am I that easy to read? Nah. But I know a fighter when I see one. And the valley could use more of your like. I'll try not to pick too many fights. Mm-hmm. I'll believe it when I see it. I'll look after things while you're gone, Cal. That's right. The outpost is under our watchful eyes. Easy there, cowboy. I should probably get back to the kitchen. Rush hour should be starting any time. Is there really a rush hour? Yeah, of course, of course. <laughs> of course, that doesn't mean we get a crowd or anything. But it's still a rush for me. Seems like you're happy here. I like seeing that, bud. I've got a kitchen and plenty of places to hide. I'm doing just fine. But I do miss my ship. The Mantis misses you too. Yeah, sure, I'll bet it does. The way you fly. Get out of here, it's almost rush hour. Huh. Now, where to start? Doing good, Grease? Yes, not now. I get the feeling monks secretly turn this place from pylons to monks. Going behind my back. Trying to make my masterpiece into his masterpiece. Whatever. I gotta figure out what he changed, if he changed anything. Did you choose that paint job for the Stinger Mantis? Or was that Grease? It's a little flashy for my taste. Hey, when you're the galaxy's most wanted, you might as well go out in style. The Mantis has gotten us out of more scrapes than I can count. She could do with more regular maintenance, but... I couldn't ask for a better ship. Then she lives up to her name. If I were you, I'd ride that thing until the thrusters fell off. That's the plan. We're ready when you are, Cal. Let's get a move on. Copy that. He even covers his cantina couches with Patoli weave fabric. Classic grease.
Focus. Wonder what this is, buddy. Impressive. So, this is your kingdom. I work with many talented scientists. None as talented as you, Centauri. And yet we've reached an impasse. Perhaps you will bring me some much needed luck. The charge is set. Get back. What? Nothing? Uh, I thought you said this was good thermite.
That's quite an arsenal you've got there. Arsenal? What? Why do you ask this of Gara? Business is none of yours. I'm not here to make trouble. What do you plan to do with all this? I present as gift to Ravis. Great tribute, yes? Tribute? You mean you want to join the Raiders? Join the Raiders, yes. No more prospecting, no longer other saying weak of Gara. Much glory and blood of Ravis. The Raiders are dangerous, and not known to strike deals. Danger, eh? Gara gorge self on danger. Gara live for thrill of kill, but you are not kill. You do not want to join the Raiders. Gara doesn't want to join the Raiders. The Raiders are unreliable. It's too dangerous to bargain with them. Raiders are not to be trusted. Too dangerous for Gara. No, no, deal is off. Too risky. Contraband. Here, you take. Gara no wants. All right, then. Are you just gonna leave all this here? You takes contraband. Gara gets rid of rest. Too risky for keeps. You here still? You take contraband. You leave. All right, got it. This is all a big misunderstanding. Honest, you gotta let me go. Oh yeah. Why should we? Uh, I could be of use to you. Yeah, 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 that's it. Whatever you want. I'm your frog. Oh, we'll see. Boss is looking for something. Find it, or we'll find you. Prospectors didn't stand a chance. Time to go. Here for the soundscape, too? Hey, back. I heard there was someone collecting samples up here. That's right, man. Dee Dee's been all over these glider calls. Yeah, it's sounding great. You know, Tyloon Saloon down in the outpost is starving for some live entertainment. Hmm. Might not be a bad call. Didi swore one of those beasts gave him some side eye. One more. Toss me a stem, buddy. Here for the soundscape, too? Hey, back. I heard there was someone collecting samples up here. That's right, man. Didi's been all over these glider calls. <laughs> oh, it's sounding great. You know, Hyloon Saloon down in the outpost is starving for some live entertainment. Hmm. Might not be a bad call. Didi swore one of those beasts gave him some side eye. Yeah, we're in. We'll catch you back at the outpost. See you there. D 
Dee Dee and I are just gonna finish up here. Chill, Dee Dee. I ain't rushing you. I don't bite, I promise. There are a lot of you around here, aren't there? Show this to Z. Be the way out. How to get there? addition to our garden.
Someone locked it up. Maybe we can find another way in. Now, that better? There's a good Neko. You just stay here now, all right? And be quiet. I'm sure there's nothing to worry about. These are sure to grow into something interesting. I have 
Try this! <laughs> Glory will be ours! Untouchable! I need help. What's that, bud? Something catch your eye? Ours to you. You are wise to kneel. Tell your dissenters I have no place for them. They opposed me. Now only death remains. <laughs> Let's stop here. Off we go. Mount Wormer's just here. Better bring these to the garden.
see if Doma's interested in this. Let's look. Nice job, BD. Look what we found. Great find.
Interesting. Another shard. Let's plant these next time we're in the garden. Grab a spot at the bar. Do you ever miss the glory days, Cal? The cut and thrust, the rough and tumble. That sounds like every day. Not that it's glorious. Well, I certainly had some glorious years. I'm sure I never told you about the incident over at Munilinst. Don't think you did. I was personally escorting a shipment of, well, let's call it a sensitive luxury product. Unfortunately, we were costed by a customs longship. The fence had failed to update our transponder codes, and our vessel was marked. Well, Bush comes to shove, and we were boarded. I've got three customs officers waving blasters under my nose, so what do I do? I throw on the waterworks. Oh, Cal, you cannot imagine. I'm swearing up and down about everything from past marriages to lower back pain. Almost work, too. But one pesky officer decided to kick open a shipping container full of the uh, slightly incriminating powder. Guess the jig was up. Oh, <laughs> Cal. Cal, Cal. You're looking at a professional. I told them that they were looking at the ashes of a thousand ritually cremated Sereno war heroes. And by the stars, they bought it. The inspectors actually bought it. That, Cal, is why I'm here instead of rotting in a Munilinst work camp. Talk later, hmm? 
Hey, glad you both found Pyloons all right. Thanks again for the invite. Name's Ash Hobby, by the way. I'm Cal. This is BD1. Man, you didn't tell me what a dive this place would be. This saloon has wonky acoustics, weirder customers, and a barely functional refresher. It's perfect. Can't wait to hear what you've got. Pretty sure Grease's old jukebox predates the High Republic. We got you, Cal. Hit up DDEC if you want to hear anything specific. I will. Thanks. Hit me up if you hear any good valley sounds, all right? You got it, Ash. Let's see here. A lot of prospectors around here. Have you ever tried your hand at mining prior, right? Once. I found it enlightening. Some prospectors invited me to join them on an expedition. We descended to the mines, but when my back was turned, they fled. They ditched you? Yes. Alone, I calmly walked through the darkness, trusting my intuition. I found another exit. And the prospectors? Dead. Goraco attacked. If I had chased them, I would have perished too. Let this be a lesson. Always go your own way. I must be alone now. What kind of clientele you get here? One dusty prospector after another hoping to strike it rich on old tech or priorite. Sometimes I wonder why I bother. Anyone with real credits to spend leaves Kobo in a hurry. And at least they're less likely to die in here than out there. You should write that on the side of the saloon. Hey, Monk. What can I do for you? See you later, Monk. You seem different in here, Cal. How so? Well, you're more relaxed, for sure. I guess. Grease did a good job with this place. Feels like home. Grease. <laughs> Not sure I'll ever meet another Latero like him. Uh, well, that was supposed to be a compliment. Okay, I'll catch you later. Cal! Did you find the spot I was telling you about? Yeah, actually. Thought you might be telling tales. I would never lie to you! I'm gonna hold you to that. Okay, but you're gonna be disappointed. I'm really busy, Cal. Maybe later. Be seeing ya. So a cantina, huh? Didn't see that coming. Why not? I'm a gregarious guy. I love a good party. I'm good with money. Okay, I'm decent with money. Credit's well spent. It's nice to have a place to call your own. Later. Hey, Scuba. How's the water? Ah, fine. I just wanted to thank you for lending me your tank. Plenty more space for plenty more fishes, though. Let's keep them all spinning, eh? Hey, buddy. Hiya, Cal. You and Droids seem to get along, don't you? Sure do. Always had trouble connecting with people. Droids are logical. Easy to fix when broken. People are unpredictable. No kidding. But once you find the right person, it gets easier. Hope so. Seeing these High Republic ruins with my own eyes... How do you go back to the Academy after that? Not something I expected to hear from a historian. I didn't expect it either. Originally, I couldn't wait to wall myself into a library. Why visit one dig site when you could read about 30, right? So what made you decide to leave? It is... Hard to describe, but the more I learned, the more I wanted to get my hands dirty and live it. Not just read about it on a calf-stained terminal, you know? Take care out there, Cal. You too. Does any of this interest you? You seem to appreciate this. Stay forth, Cal. 
You asked how life was different in my day. For one, I believe we were more charitable to one another. Yeah, the Empire has everyone so afraid they just look out for themselves. What was it like back then? Ah, uh, once I was running an errand for Master Cree, very time-sensitive business. I moved with such haste, I blew out my motivator. I was perfectly aware and completely immobile. Most embarrassing. How'd you get moving again? By chance, a friendly bystander diagnosed my predicament and graciously installed a replacement. That's generous. Out here, they'd probably scrap you for parts. How'd you repay them? I didn't. I never saw him again, but weeks later, I was able to help someone else. A chain of kindness kept the Republic going. For a while. Cal, I don't want to be that droid. But Canada won't discover itself. This baseline is giving me gutter funk vibes. to hear the mantis is up and running again hard to imagine life without her oh, don't worry that thing's as sturdy as a bantha not sure Grease would like his ship compared to a bantha do i look like i care much what he thinks of me no you don't that's right i don't see what all the fuss is about with that droid i think she's talking about z it's like that's all people want to talk about a droid that old is pretty exciting. Well, I'm old. No one wants to talk about me. Look, l let me tell you. I was one of the first people in this town, and I have seen a whole lot of fads and flavors of the week. Like what? Well, we once had a fire juggler come in. People paid to see her, too. Fifty credits a pop. Sounds like fun. Oh, yeah, it was fun. Till she burned half the food silo down. Ah, uh, not fun. See, stuff that's new is exciting, sure, but what really counts is consistency. Reliability. Hmm. Tempting. Oh, I knew that one would catch your eye. This one. Good choice. Practically had your name on it. Ooh, that's a nice one. This will be useful. I love that one too. Gonna go with this one. You know a good deal when you see it. I'll grab this one. It's a deal. You like that one. Gulu, Guido, what's going on? Just bemoaning the sorry state of affairs in this place. What did the raiders do this time? No, not them. We were talking about how things ain't like the good old days. When we started out here, life was grand. The place was nearly empty. Barely anyone to bother you. Sounds like paradise. Well, it's the way of the galaxy. The only constant is change, and everything gets worse with time. Yeah. And there's always one Turgle everywhere you go. 
<laughs> Something you need? Well, you got a mean look to you. I do? Yeah. Like you're not afraid of nothing. Maybe you can find out what all this fuss is about. There's a shack nestled way out near the caverns. Folks call it Key's Workshop. What's in the workshop? Misery. And maybe treasure, or so I hear. If you're in the area, it could be worth a visit. You do that? Wait, what? No! I just saved your fool life. Who are you, anyway? I'm Turgle. Well, if you won't keep breathing, you best follow me. This is raider territory. A little something for the garden. This has been here. Hey. 
Hey, not bad. Hey there, friend. my warrior friend I haven't seen such fighting since the championship we are in your debt what are you doing out here we were out looking for the biggest strongest beasts to fight each other winner take all within our hollow tactics game table of course hollow tactics huh that's right and you have just helped us gather beastly data for our game just as soon as we find a place to set up shop of course my friend might be interested. He runs Pylon Saloon. Ah, uh, yes. The saloon at Rambler's Reach. That dump? I didn't realize it was open. Well, tell you what. We're more than happy to bring Hollow Tactics to Pylons. They'll liven up the place. Let us make haste, Tully Moo. All things in their own time, Bima. See you around. Assist. Keep moving, buddy. More prior right. Toa mentioned this meditation chamber.
Welcome, Jedi. The Force teaches us that what our eyes see and our hands touch is not always the truth of the world. The world bends to the will of the Force. As such, it may also bend to you. Let's get this data disk back to Z. this course as many times as it takes. Careful. I haven't trained like this since I was a Padawan. Keep going. It'll be over soon. We can hope. little more. Oh. You must be strong for the task ahead.
Quit your belly aching, Leo. Let me see it. Shoot. That ain't gonna heal. Sorry, hun. Not your day. Way of the world, Leo. Rather you in the ground peaceful than someone's dinner. I'm not done with you. Defend me. I'm hit. Oh, yeah. Nice try. Shut fire. Roger, Roger. You will know me. I am programmed to kill you. I love my job.
I need something for you. This has been here. It's judging me.
I think I'll have a salted Staga sub. The Staga sub? Oh, hi, that's last month's special. You've changed the blasted menu again? Grease can't leave well enough alone. Well, you know, Grease, the boss is a culinary innovator who just can't be stopped. But perhaps I can interest you in an iodized gaunt roast? Mm? <laughs> an old favorite of yours, I believe. Old favorite? Oh, so tender you'll want to buy it dinner. Have I really been stranded here long enough to have an old favorite? Well, <laughs> you know, time flies when your disposition is as sunny as in a barn graveyard. <laughs> Seeing these battle droids about takes one back, doesn't it? Maybe a bit. Oh, the Clone Wars. Those were the good years. I've never heard anyone say that before, Moran. Oh, sure. A separatist secession backed by tax-loathing free marketeers begins. Just as I'm establishing a profitable extrajudicial shipping operation. They paired like wine and flat cakes. Well, I'm glad you enjoyed it. Apologies, I'm being insensitive. You probably fought in the Clone Wars as a child soldier, right? No. Not exactly. Well, I suppose it's all over now, one way or another. Talk later, hmm? So how'd you become a music producer? I was born on Riosa, in the inner rim. I've heard of it. Lots of heavy industry. Yeah, you couldn't escape the factories. So I used to make little tunes out of the noise from them in my head. You started early then. And never stopped. Keep on doing your thing. You ever get homesick, too locked? From time to time, there are quite a few things I miss. Like what? The many rivers, Velati trout leaping over the current, and the food that I crave. Oh, yeah? Handmade dumplings stuffed with potato and kushnip. I miss the taste of banson, a minty spice that enlivens every taste bud. You should talk to Grease. Maybe you can whip something up that reminds you of home. A wise suggestion, Sojourner. Sojourner? So, this whole running around the galaxy, beating down bullies thing you got going on? What do you get at it? Well, it's a better use of my time than drinking my life away in a cantina. That you're wrong on, bud. When you were living on Biren, what'd you do for a living? I was a teacher. Really? <laughs> what? That's so surprising? I know a little about most things, and uh, I'm patient with kids. Yeah. I guess I can see it. Maybe you can set up a little school on Tantalor. When all this is over. Maybe. Don't worry about things here, Cal. How'd you get mixed up with the Bedlam Raiders? Well, well, I had a drink from Muck. Then another, then another, then another, then... <coughs> right. I stumbled outside and sort of confused one of the big Raiders with a dewback. Don't tell me you try to mount him. Okay. But if I don't, that's the end of the story. I can see why the Raiders try to kill you. Oh, they've got plenty of reasons. I'm really busy, Cal. Maybe later. Salutations. I gotta say, Grease, a lot has changed, but you seem to be managing all right. Better than all right. <laughs> oh, wait. You were talking about my arm, weren't you? I wasn't, but it's a good arm. Where'd you get it? I picked it up from a traveling junk dealer. She said it brought out the moke in my eyes. What do you think? Definitely brings out the mocha. Oh, yeah. They're enchanting, right? I'll keep things ticking here. Uh, let's chat later. Oh, this place is starting to fill up, Cal. Guess the word is out. It's looking pretty good. Oh, seeing this place start to get its legs feels like... like the start of something historic. What if, centuries from now, there's a city here? Even Eldera was just a lumber colony once. Doma better start investing in urban planning. True. Turgle told me he named a road after his foot. 
Hey. Not now, Cal. Welcome, welcome. Why not step up and try your hand at hollow tactics? Ah, our savior returns. Let me make a proper introduction. I am Bima Ook, and this is my associate, Tali Moo. As you can see, we have set up a game of Hollow Tactics here in Pyloon Saloon. I'm Kel. Glad you made it back safe. I'd say the same to you, but it seems there is no doubt that you can handle yourself. I see you have a companion droid. They can add to your Hollow Tactics deck by scanning combatants. Ah, got it. The more scans BD collects, the more options I'll have in the game. Exactly. Of course, there is nothing stopping you from playing right now. Come to prove yourself? So, it's a recording? When do I start talking? What a show. Take on old Greece.
chance! Obliterated! What an engrossing sequence of play. What? Wait, wait, hold on, wait a minute. Why don't we raise the stakes a little bit? Your challengers will be waiting here at the table. Not bad. I've seen worse rooftop gardens. Got new seeds to plant. Oh, hey. What's wrong, Grease? Uh, I'm, I'm just thinking about the Bedlam Raiders. Pyloons was meant to be a home away from home, but these Raiders are ruining everything. Everyone's afraid, and there's nothing I can do about it. At least people have a place to lie low. Yeah, I suppose you have a point. Besides, if the Raiders come around again, I've got your back. Oh, thanks, kid. I appreciate that. I need a little grease time. Hey, Cal, good to see you. Taros ain't built for the cold, you know. Must feel good to get back in the cockpit after so long. Fine. <laughs> Just getting used to things. Never been to Jeddah. We headed to the city? Nah, last I heard, Seer was holed up in the desert with some weird hermits called Anchorites. <laughs> I just wish he'd pick a more lively cult. We're getting a signal from Jeddah. That's Seer. I sent word ahead that we'd be visiting. Let me put it up on the hollow projector. Hey, Cal, check the hollow projector. We got a call from Jetta. Cal, Cal. 
Kestis. It is an honor. Yep. Yeah. Hi. Is Seer there? We eagerly await your arrival. However, a dust storm is sweeping over our location. It is too dangerous for your ship to land. And how will I get to you? Master Junda has arranged for an escort who will guide you to us. Wait, she's sending someone else? I will transmit the rendezvous coordinates to your pilot. Okay, I got it. Disembark with caution. Imperial patrols have been seen in the high desert. Thanks for the warning. Well? Hey, you made the creeps. I wonder what kind of weirdo she's gonna send to meet you. And the Empire's there, too. Not the welcome I was hoping for. Careful out there. No pointless heroics, yeah? Grease, have you been telling stories about me? I got plenty of things to talk about besides you, kid. Keep an eye out for the Empire. Sorry, kid, with the dust storm brewing, this is as close as I can get. Rendezvous point shouldn't be too far. Sit tight, you two. I'll find Sears' contact. I'll keep Grease safe and sound. Grease Dritus don't need no babysitter. Sounds like someone needs a nap. Watch it, you. Let's go find Seer's escort. The rendezvous point is up ahead. Let's check it out. Time to climb. Hang on, BD. <laughs> Gotta be careful. Sand, buddy. Don't want to end up a snack. Thanks, BD. Looks 
Looks like a scroll. Can't imagine how long it's been here. We'll break camp at first light. We're running low on water. If we do not find an oasis, we will never reach Pilgrim's Crossing. Something here. There you are. Ready, quick. Alter formation. You won't get me. Got something? Looks like a prayer wheel.
Maybe someone at Sears base would know what to make of this. Respect that. Hang on to this. Been watching me? Like old times. Surprised to see me. I thought they'd send someone a bit more, uh, unfamiliar. I would not be so quick to judge, Calcastus. Much has changed since we last saw each other. I can see that. Come, my speeder is this way. Your land speeder? Stormtroopers found it. Then we will take care of them. And it looks like they found us too. You ready? The wall! 
More coming. Let's take it down together. I'm with you. <laughs> That's the last of them. You've learned some new tricks. Looks like you have, too. Picked up an ascension cable. See anything I can latch onto? How's this? I thought you were off traveling the galaxy. What are you doing on Jeddah? Jeddah is part of the galaxy count. <laughs> Good to know. I visit Seer from time to time. When I heard the Mantis was arriving, I offered to guide you. We must get to the other side. Yes, that could work. Stormtroopers. Anything? We should Nothing circle yet. around and ambush them from above. Don't like the sound of that. How do you know? Just a speeder. Pretty banged up one. It's a long. There are reports of hostiles in the area. Send out another scouting party. More stress. We need to take them down before more arrive. Just like that time on Narshada. Precisely. I'll follow your lead. That's a first. my speeder. Even if the storm subsided, Seer is too far to reach on foot. Nice. What are you thinking? Might be able to hitch a ride. All right. Follow me. You haven't learned to fly yet, have you? Afraid not. Then we must find another way across. There. See it? I do. <laughs> you haven't lost your edge. BD seems a step slow. Learn to take a joke, Troy. <laughs> Through here. I'm not stuck, are you? Sis <sighs> spit. The way is blocked. Oh, watch out! Are you trying to kill me? Sorry, I thought... It's all right, Cal. Stand by. I will fix this. What are you doing? Restoring the pattern you threw into chaos. Incredible. That looked exhausting. You need a break? The storm is coming. I will rest when we arrive at the place. Where did you learn that? Nothing here. You went home? Yes. My sisters are gone, but their wisdom remains. Spammels. Oh. 
Maybe someone at Sears base would know what to make of this. It's locked. The creature is gone, but it will return. We should never have made this journey. May the Jedi protect us. There is only the Force. I just want to check it out real quick. I will stay here. You should try taking detours more often. I traveled all over the galaxy. Remember? How could I forget? Marin, you got it? Of course. I'll meet you on the other side. Scared of you. I know. They have taken to calling me the Desert Ghost. Desert Ghost, huh? Haunting Imperials has become a hobby of mine. someone at Sears base would know what to make of this. It must have taken lifetimes to build this place. Now the people who built it are gone. I came across the remnants of many civilizations during my travels. All things decayed. <laughs> Good job.
foes near. Such a waste. Those look like Jedi. Seer says Jedha was once home to many who revered your kind. Perhaps they were. My kind. Maybe we try some new components. This was? I don't. But Seer might. VD, does he look like Cal? Really? Ready yourself for combat. You always love to climb. Comes in handy. If that was a joke, I hope you fall. the end of them. Help me out. Must I? Thanks. Seer would be disappointed if I left you to die in the desert. The Spammel. You really think you can tame one? Worth a shot. Maybe someone at Seer's base would know what to make of this. Are you tired? Just taking things in. An oasis! We're saved! Now we have the strength to reach the crossing. May the Jedi watch over us. The storm nears. We must go. Okay, okay. Is the base far? Not with our new friend. And now we have time to catch up. No kidding. It's been years. You must have seen the entire galaxy. Almost. How was it? Amazing. The sinking city of Karatal. The Prasaya Cliffs. This galaxy suffers. But there is still beauty 
Any run-ins with the Empire? Yes. These are dark times. I helped those I could. I'm just glad you're all right. You as well. Wherever I went, you were never far from my thoughts. I've never seen a storm like that. It's hard to tell how long one will last. Let's not wait to find out. My thoughts exactly. You've avoided Seer for years. Why visit her now? I need her help. We're looking for something connected to the Order. Interesting. Are you still upset with us for leaving? I didn't see it coming, Marin. All of us going our separate ways. I understand, Cal. But we had our reasons. friend. Can you go any faster? We have to hurry. Faster. Now! Oh. 
can't be. The Spamel must have found shelter. This way. Okay. The Spamel saved us. So we can forgive it for leaving us to die. Agreed. Okay. Should be set for the night. Sit. Tell me what adventures you and BD have had since we last saw each other. All right. Same as always. Fighting the Empire, helping out where we can. Not staying in one place too long. And, um... I think we might have found something special. A place where the Empire can't find us. But it would mean leaving the fight. And well, the fight is all I know. Cal. Look into the fire. It will warm you. Keep you company. On dark, lonesome nights, yes? But left unchecked, it will consume everything in its path. Until there is only ash. But on a cold night, like tonight, a warm fire is perfect. And the company is not so bad, either. I missed you, Marin. And I, you. I had to leave, Cal. In order to see the galaxy on my own terms. What'd you find? Myself. Reflected in all the places and people I encountered. Dathomir will always be my home, but... It does not need to define me. I never understood why you left. But... Sitting here now... It... It's clear you made the right choice. You missed a spot. Morning. The weather has cleared. Let's go. Never have enough of these. Well, we survived our first storm together. Yes, we did. I'm glad we got to see each other again. How long are you staying on Jetta? I don't know. But I am excited to see Greece. How is he these days? Not bad. He opened up a cantina. Hyloon Saloon. He named it after his great-grandmother. Nothing's more important to Grace than family.
Hello, my friend. It's so very good to see you again. Master Cordova. It's an honor. I... I never thought I'd meet you in person. The honor is mine, Cal. Sears told me everything. You have demonstrated great bravery and wisdom in the face of overwhelming adversity. You chose well? Well, <laughs> I wouldn't go that far. <laughs> The Empire has claimed the ruins. We'll have to find another rendezvous point. Unfortunate. But at least the storm covered your tracks. Come. Come, let me escort you inside. Master Cordova, did you find the Zepho? Only faint traces of their passage heading deep into the unknown regions. Sorry to hear that. As it goes. Ultimately, that failure inspired me to seek out other Jedi survivors. That search led me back to my old apprentice. How have you been faring, Cal? That doesn't sound good. I've had a few scrapes, but I'm still breathing. And I'm glad for it. I heard some news about a Jedi terrorist on Coruscant not long ago. You were on Coruscant? Guys. The archive is this way. This base is well hidden. Yes. Well, the Empire's presence has grown these past years. They are much too strong to fight directly, but we do what we can. It is critical, of course, that our work remains secret. What work exactly? Mm, better to ask Seer yourself. Meanwhile, Marin and I will greet our new arrivals. So, how is the desert? Cold, stormy, and too many Imperials. Mm, not my preferred weather forecast. But more common by the Where? Okay, Our spell of Just keep trying. It's not like Brother Armai has to break contact. Cal Kestis. Welcome to Jeddah. I knew the storm wouldn't deter you. You're rebuilding the temple archives. Yeah, we're trying. As long as this knowledge remains, the legacy of the Jedi survives. It's incredible. Mm -hmm. But something tells me there's more to this than just hollow books. Yes. We're a part of a network known as the Hidden Path. We provide safe passage and new identities to those who have been persecuted by the Empire. Hunted by the Empire, like. like Jedi survivors? Very few of us remain. But yes. And Force Sensitives, and those who help them. Why didn't you tell me? <sighs> you never asked. Besides, I hear you've been busy making yourself the Empire's most wanted. I wanted to prove to the galaxy that the Empire isn't invulnerable. That you can resist. That you have to fight if things are gonna get better. But then they just listen to the propaganda and they pretend they're free anyways. Hmm. Yeah. You chose a hard path. And it hasn't made a difference. Well, while the Empire's trained its eyes on you, we've been able to build the network, find allies, and save lives. When are you 
you left. Now you're just giving up. I was wrong. Cal, you were just a child when they sent you off to war. You know, there was a time when I remember that the Jedi were more than just weapons. But we both have our roles to play in this struggle. Yeah, but that's why I'm here. Seer. Well, you get a load of this! Hey, Seer, you can't say it ain't short of personality, <laughs> but kind of creepy, though. <laughs> well, it's good to see you two, Grease. <laughs> <laughs> well, okay. hello, Beanie. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> so, how was your time in the desert? The storm covered our tracks, but the Empire destroyed one of your speeders. It's a small price to pay for everybody's safe arrival. And who's this? This is Bodokuna. He is a friend. It's so nice to finally meet you. Uh, it's hunk of trouble! <laughs> hey! We're all together! <laughs> yes. Now, what brings you all to Jeddah? We're searching for a lost planet. Tantalor, you ever heard of it? It's on the other side of a deadly nebula called the Kobo Abyss. Well, our archives are far from complete, but I'm sure Master Cordova is up to the task. With pleasure. The trouble is, we're not the only ones looking for this place. I knew this was sounding too easy. The guy's name is Dagon Gera. He was a Jedi. Now he leads a band of raiders on the Outer Rim. There's an old temple there. Dagon intends to reclaim it. A Jedi temple out of the reach of the Empire could mean that there's information there that we don't have in the archive. I believe I have something. <laughs> oh, you're too kind, BD. <laughs> I'll start with the bad news. Well, boy, this guy knows his audience. I found no information related to crossing the Kobo Abyss. However, I found two mentions of this Dagon Gera. He had a retreat on Kobo. And records show him frequently visiting a laboratory on its moon. Okay, we'll check him out. If you find anything, bring it to me. I am happy to assist further. Thank you. Both of you. You're welcome, Cal. I hope you find what you're searching for. May the Force be with you. And with you. I will escort you back to the Mantis. So you're not joining us? I cannot. So where are we headed first? Back to Kobo? Or its moon? Let's hit the moon laboratory first. All right. Maybe we can find something there to help us cross the abyss. Ready to roll out when you are. Glad you didn't have to fly through that storm. So, how's it feel to be piloting the Mantis again? Like being home. Then why the long face? Ah, it's been too long. My pilot instincts are all off. I know how hard it is trying to relearn skills you put to the side. I guess so, huh? Still, I regret ever walking away from the Mantis. Keep thinking I'm gonna slip up. You walked away when you needed to. I know you'll pick it back up in no time. Okay, okay. You're a good friend, Cal. This new arm is gonna make piloting a little different. But I'll get there. I hope. Oh, hey, Seer or Master Cordova's got the answers, not me. Talk to one of them. Ah, Cal. I was hoping we could speak about something. There is a site, quite an ancient one at that, in the northern desert. I visited it during my early days on Jetta before the Empire's presence grew. What kind of site? One built by those who revered Force users. We know little about them, but I found the experience quite fascinating. Perhaps you will too. I'll check it out. Cal, my friend, have you made the acquaintance of Sister Task? Don't think I have. 
you ought to introduce yourself. She's our chief archivist, and though I doubt she'd admit it, she seems eager to meet you. I'll stop by. Very good. Uh, just remember to mind your manners. She's Narcus through and through. Have you explored any of the ruins on Jeddah? I have. Quite fascinating. Though my research was cut short due to the growing Imperial presence. Now it's too risky to venture outside. And we send communications only when absolutely necessary. Mm. <laughs> that is why I could not tell you that I returned, my friend. My sincerest apologies. We're just glad you're okay. Please, let me know how your field research expedition goes, my friends. Cordova said he found you while he was seeking other Jedi survivors. Yes. Hard to believe that fate brought us together once again after all this time. Could have used that luck when we were hunting for the Holocron. I know. Luck or fate. I'm just happy my master is alive and here with us. Yeah. And determined as ever to tend to the Jedi legacy and resist the Empire. Have a look around the Archive, Cal. We'll talk later. The Archive is growing, but there is still much work to do. I'll leave you to it. I need to focus. Ready to go. So good to see you, Meryn. What brings you to Jeddah? I came across a group during my travels. Their goal is to hide Force sensitives from the Empire. Have you ever heard of the Hidden Path? Found anything of interest? Hail, Jedi Knight. I am called Sister Task. I'm Cal. Word of your arrival has spread quickly, noble one. Master Junda holds you in high esteem. Seer and I have been through a lot together. Jeddah is brimming with lost artifacts related to your order, among other traditions. Should you happen upon any scrolls or other objects of interest, I would gladly exchange some of the treasures I've unearthed for them. I'll let you know if I find anything. We are in your debt, noble one. I meant to ask. You are curious to learn more about the masked hermits helping your mentor, hmm? I am. We are the Narcus Anchorites. We study and venerate the Force as it manifests through knowledge. Your scholars? We gather knowledge, much like other scholars, yes. But our labor is driven by the belief that knowledge expresses universal truth. Through wisdom, we seek to perceive the formless pattern of the Force. Do you understand? I understand describing the Force as a formless pattern. Although, that isn't my perception of it. Indeed. Nor do we experience the Force as you do, Noble One. You're the Traveler. Have you found any systems outside the Empire's reach? Not that I have come across. There are countless ruins scattered across the High Desert. One of them could be a perfect safe house for the path.
The way is sealed, Outlander. I'm sorry, Jedi. The gate must remain closed. Imperial patrols have been spotted in the region. I understand. The patrols should pass soon. When they do, you will be free to come and go as you please. Old Aerotech speeder bikes. Never got to ride one. Sister. We spotted two more patrols on the ridge. What was their heading? Back south. They narrowly missed one of our Wayhouse caches. The sandstorm has favored us. It likely obscured any signs of passage. Mark the horizon. Contact me if they double back. Yes, brother. Noble Jedi, welcome to our archive. Thanks. It's impressive. What are you working on? Just studying these totems, recovered from nearby ruins. Many relics have survived the ages, but lifetimes spent unshielded from the desert have scattered much wisdom to the sands. I hope you find what you're looking for. Nobody ever learned by finding what they were looking for, only by choosing to look for the right things. But you know as much, Enlightened One. Seer speaks highly of you, you know. She gives me a lot of credit. Perhaps. But then she is not one to inflate the truth. We Narcus might say that the two of you are united by a concordant thread. You'll have to explain that one. Fibers are strongest when braided into rope, yes? Her strength is yours, and vice versa. You understand? Think so. I've learned a lot from Seer. That much is evident. I suppose you have both studied Oisin's lemma. Yes, sister. Indeed, sister. Then perhaps you will explain to me the paradox of the fifth book. Oisin explores the antinomy of enlightenment. It's a paradox about the inevitability of cycles. Hmm. Explain. Enlightenment is defined as cycle breaking. But for the animals, to be enlightened is to suffer the cycle. The more we strive to break the cycle, Let's be careful with this. This terminal will have to wait.
Let's take this back to Sears archive. Hey, Cal, hold on. I've had this since I started freelancing. It's gotten me out of some bad situations, and I figured it might do the same for you. It's Marin, right? Well, I could get another one if you think you might want it. No need. Both. <laughs> yeah, you're, you're good. Okay. The master always frowned upon using blasters. You once said it wasn't the weapon that makes you a Jedi. It's us against the galaxy, Cal. We've got to use every advantage we can find against the Empire. Thanks, Bo. Stay still. Gotta start somewhere. Well, there you go. Not bad. So, how long have you been working for Seer? I do not work for Seer. Right. Cal does not like stormtroopers. He does. Impressive. I think you got it, Cal. This is a smart operation Sears put together. Why do you say that? All this rock? Natural shielding against sensors. Yeah, and if anyone makes it past all that, the Anchorites have plenty of hollow books to throw at them. <laughs> yeah, you can see how Sears managed to evade the Empire for so long. She makes her own luck, keeping so much of her power held back to achieve a larger goal. Yeah. There's definitely more to her than meets the eye. You two have that in common. Good luck out there. It's nice seeing you again, Marin. You too, Cal. Good luck. Perhaps I will still be here when you return. Hope so. I can't believe Master Cordova is really here. All that time following in his footsteps. I have enjoyed getting to know him. I've never met a Jedi with a better sense of humor. You've only met me and Seer. That's right. Cal? Sisters, we have a most honored guest, the wise one who instructed Master Junda. Come, come, Master Cordova. You must be wary from your travels. I will show you the way.
pick our next destination. Route to the Shattered Moon. Maybe those anchorites aren't so bad after all. Didn't you call them weirdos? That was before Seer told me they're helping those poor refugees hide from the Empire. That right? Yeah. Working with the group called the Hidden Path. Real hush-hush stuff. So keep it in the family. Understood. Seems like you've got a nice crew. Well, former crew. Do I? So, Cordova thinks we'll find out how to cross the abyss by tracking down Dagon's old haunts? That's right. You know anything about this laboratory on the moon, Grease? What am I, a tour guide? I'm a busy Latero. No time to visit broken moons. First Jetta, now this. Ah, oh, believe me, moons are nothing but trouble. Jetta's a moon. I had no idea. Arriving at our destination. Smidge rusty. You? A little restless, but we'll be fine. Oh, listen to you, Mr. Optimistic. Hmm. Hey, you want to do me a favor? Cut it out. You're giving me a stomach ache. You sure, it's not your cooking? <laughs> what was that? We're almost there. Locals say the moon's haunted. Couldn't have put this laboratory in a sunnier place? No kidding. But if we find something here that'll help us navigate the Kobo Abyss, so be it. The way Grease tells it, the Abyss is a ship graveyard. And now we're on a lunar graveyard. A lot of graveyards. A lot of graveyards. I'm on watch here. So far, I've spotted one nervous Latero. Nice find. Let's take this back to Z. The station is closed. They're here. Who's here? We've been attacked. Evacuation protocols in order. This station is closed. It is dangerous to remain here. Cordova said there were records of Dagon visiting a lab on this move. It says Cree written all over it. I really think there's something past the abyss. Centauri Cree does. I suppose that's enough for the Council. Okay, so not that way. see this place operational after all this time. Let's stay alert. We need to find that lab.
Excuse me. Sectors 5 through 9 in operable, sectors 1 through 4 operational. Facility status activated. Array status deactivated. Not holding. We'll need to reinforce the chamber again. myself. Then I will be truly free. Bad feeling. See. Buddy. I'm sure Z can decrypt this for us. Where's the laboratory? The laboratory is off limits. The laboratory is inaccessible. You're okay. Find somewhere to hide. I don't have access. I tried to tell them. Please, leave me be. The Raiders really did a number on these droids. I don't have access to the laboratory. Please, leave me be. Okay. Good luck. Ugh. 
job. We're locked out. Great. I bet Z can get the data off this disk.
Work, buddy. Sector 5 Delta, no anomalies. Scanning, Sector 5 Epsilon. Your modifications no couldn't hurt. Scanning, Sector 5 Zeta. One anomaly. The sky is broken. We've been attacked. That'll do. Do your thing, buddy. Greetings. You all right? As well as can be expected. Considering no one has bothered to talk to me in many cycles. Intriguing data. I can help you. There is something valuable that lies at the bottom of this facility. Thanks. We'll see what we can find. You all right? The sky is broken. What broke the sky? The emergence. Done yet. We can do this. Ah! Ready, BD?
Enjoy that, buddy? Appreciate that. It's not safe here. They will hurt you like they hurt me. Can't go wrong with more stamps. orders like that. No way. Not me. Uh, I mean, unless it was Ravis, in which case, well, obviously. I'd sooner be broken down for scrap than get pushed around by anyone else. this data disk back to Z. Nice find. Let's take this back to Z. I bet Z can get the data off this disk. Let's show this to Z. Spotted, spotted. Huh? Oh, look. The Jedi. You shouldn't be here. No, no. Too close. Fun as it is to have something to fight. Ravis won't be too happy if you get any closer. So run along, Jedi. Help me out. I'll run you. Try again. Something damaged. I'll give you that. 
but I've got my orders. So get out of here. You must go. Damage taken. Upward strike. I will do this alone. I don't remember this. You will be found. Show this to Z. Get this data disk back to Z. Feels like half the Raider army is stationed here. Must be something worth defending. enter the laboratory. They're not supposed to. You okay? They're not allowed to enter. Show this to Z. Target is approaching high value location. Initiate defense. He will not pass. Getting to it. Nice. All right, all right. Let's look. Thank 
Let's stop for a moment. centuries until the raiders came can i guess them buddy nice throw bd a minute. Maybe we can salvage it. I'll go. I'm the best pilot for this mission, and you know it. Every ship we've sent into the Abyss has vanished without a trace. We'll go together. I cannot let you take the risk alone. This is your invention. No one else understands it. You're the only one who can guide me back. All right. 
I'll record the passage and make sure you return to us. Kree and Dagon. Gotta unlock this. Hey, buddy. I'll go. I'm the best pilot for this mission, and you know it. Every ship we've sent into the Abyss has vanished without a trace. We'll go together. I cannot let you take the risk alone. This is your invention. No one else understands it. You're the only one who can guide me back. Master Cordova said Dagon had a retreat on Koba. Let's find it. Whatever he used to cross the abyss, maybe we'll find it there. Would have liked to see you scrapping ships on Braca in your younger days. Ah, feels good to be back in the cockpit. Missed the mantis, huh? Sure, I was worried about the kind of abuse you were putting it through. Don't get me wrong, I trust you both, but I knew you'd be taking her to some dangerous places. At least back when we were all together, I knew it was my fault if I flew us into an asteroid field. Well, I'm happy to let you go ahead and make all the mistakes you like. Uh-huh. Remind me who crashed the mantis into Dredger Gorge? Where to next? We're Kobo bound! You give that old tech Cal found in the lab a look? Couldn't make heads or tails of it. Maybe we'll put some pieces together after we check out Dagon's retreat on Kobo. People go to Kobo after things fall apart. Not to put things back together. 
You seem pretty put together, Grease. But don't you have a silver tongue? Maybe I'll let you take the manners for a swing sometime. Really? On second thought, no. Come here, Cal. Trip's almost over. Watch yourself around the stone spires, Cal. What'd you hear? Apparently the Raider base isn't too far from there. Thanks for the warning. Master Cordova's research shows an abandoned settlement past the east side of the valley. Let's go check it out. I need to center myself. Hey, Cal, what do you make of this place? It's not too shabby. Lots of potential. Yes, well, anything has potential if you squint hard enough. What about you? You seem to spend a lot of time here. What do I think? I'll lay it out for you. This place violates about two dozen business fundamentals, giddily deploys false advertising practices, and is riddled with molds I daren't investigate. And yet, it serves drinks and doesn't close its doors when the Bedlam Raiders march into town. That's more than you can say for any other establishment on this rock. Another time. You know anything about the High Republic settlement off towards the swamps? Well, of course. The whole area was devastated when the moon fell on it. You're heading there, aren't you? Yeah. Need some information from the ruins. Well, watch your step. Rockfall is a big problem. Unless increasing your friction coefficient is another one of your talents. <laughs> that was a physics joke. Okay. Thanks for the warning. Oh, local legend holds that those ruins are chock full of ghosts. Of course, I would not believe in that kind of thing. But you tell me if you saw one, yeah? You bet. So how'd you go from making sounds on Riosa to becoming a producer? Well, I put together a few rough tracks, handed them out to friends, and things spread word of mouth. Started playing enough gigs to do it full time. Eventually, someone with influence caught a listen as they were passing through. They'd worked with Max Rebo, so I figured they were legit. Max Rebo? That is legit. Exactly. Said they could give me some gigs in the core. When they said core, I heard like, Chandrila, nah. They meant Coruscant. So that's where I went. DD, throw me that sample again. Your turn to choose, BD. So you're a fortune teller? Not exactly. Though prospectors do ask me to read the planet's fortune from time to time. They want you to tell them where to mine, right? Exactly. But my gift is not so precise as to provide specific locations. What I see, I share. It is up to them to interpret my visions as they see fit. The Bedlam Raiders have been awfully quiet, striking up much less trouble than usual. That's a good news. And the bad news? Rumor has it, they're lining up behind a new leader. Know anything about that? Dagon Gera. Rava serves him. Huh. Figures. Cubba just can't catch a break. Watch yourself out there. You do the same, Mosey. Hey, got a sec? 
Know anything about the High Republic residences on Kobo? Oh, when I first got here, I did a little exploring of my own. I went into a place, and then I heard creepy voices, and I got out of there in a hurry. I'll let you know if I hear any voices, Grease. Wise guys. Not now, Cal. I'm pretty sure Monk reorganized my entire spice rack. Holding up okay? Fine, thanks. It's not the first time this frontier has been terrorized by marauders, you know. But once more, the noble Jedi Knights rise to the occasion. I appreciate the thought, see, but we should watch the whole noble knight stuff. Yes, uh, of course. Perhaps these might aid you. That could be a favorite. I'll take it. Delightful. Looks good to me. Decisive. Cal, I've got a question for an accomplished warrior like yourself. Say your enemies are closing in fast, with blasters drawn and murder in their eyes. Uh, okay. What do you do? I focus on the moment and trust my training. Overthinking what will happen can make you freeze up. Yeah, that makes sense. But the most important thing is to know what you're fighting for. My life? And that's a start. I wish I could be a fearless warrior like you, but I can't, so I'm glad you're around. Hey, Zig. What's going on? Enjoying the view. Not often we get this much of a crowd at Pylons. Hey there. Ready to ignite your mind with all manner of tactics and stratagems? Contest of minds. Strategy proved superior. Spoils. It's 
seems I am lacking in clear strategy. Streak continue. Challengers on your travels. This is encouraging. I bet we can plan even more. Let's sow some new seeds. having visions of the future. Wait, I'm getting a premonition. What is it? In her future, Tulak will quit fortune telling and get a real job. <laughs> <laughs> you two are looking sour as usual. You can't say that to us. Sure he can. This place has all gone downhill ever since Pyloon's opened its doors. You know Gris and I are friends, right? You have friends. How about that? Well, tell your friend, act like the old owner, Abel Drongite. 
With Abel, you could go hundreds of cycles without paying your tab. And if he got real tired, Abel let you sleep on the floor. Abel also got himself shot by raiders. Hey, nobody's perfect. Good to see you. Sense of foul presence? No. It couldn't be. Something, buddy. Toss it. Anything you like. Won't find that anywhere else. Can't go wrong with this. I love that one right yeah if he asks about the 50 credits say may or may not owe him tell him I left the planet I think I'll stay out of this well, if you won't lie for strangers who will you lie for we should be getting pretty close I don't see anything like a settlement. Yeah! That's the way through. Let's do it. Let's move. Yeah. 
Let's keep our distance this time. I'll check it out. Find something, buddy? Let's take this to Domas. Do not become a hindrance. I am not programmed to hinder. Enemy Need to clear my mind. This place is in ruins. Tracked us down. I need help. Scuffer picked up your trail outside the outpost. Cal. Sounds like you've been watching us. Oh, we've all been watching, Cal. Not every newcomer introduces themselves by taking down one of Ravis's boys, which, by the way, nice touch. Love a big entrance. Thanks. So what do you want? Oh, what I want, Cal, is to reward you 
for every one of these that you take down. Not the only one who came to Kobo for a little peace and quiet. Take these off bounty hunters, and I'll trade you something nice. So he was Haxian Brute. More bound to be on the way. Exactly. Lucky for you. I've got eyes and ears about. Drop by the saloon. I'll help you get a jump on those hunters. All right. I'll think it over. Everybody's got rockets except me. Great find. Come on, buddy. We still gotta find Dagon's retreat. Feel the planet and everything connected. Then reach out. I think I... I, I there! I, I felt it! Just so. Very good, Padawan. So you didn't feel like helping me out there? For free. I don't think so. Pretty smooth moves back there. Thanks. You might make a decent bounty hunter. Still here? What are you looking for? I'm not telling a bounty hunter. Retired bounty hunter, I said. But suit yourself. I wouldn't tell you either. Not the enemy. Just smash this stupid thing apart. <laughs> this has got to be the place Cordova was talking about. Ready to go. I'm sure Z can decrypt this for us. There's a way to remove it. would 
be right at home in the garden. The only ones looking for something here. Think it could be Dagon? I bet Z can get the data off this disk. Centauri Cree? Here you will learn to harness Kobo matter in order to prepare yourself to traverse the abyss. But in success, will you also find an ever greater connection to the Force? Stand, Master. Now may I be excused? You have somewhere to be. Very well, but return later. Thank you. I will. Our shared goal. Tananor. Centauri Kree was training Jedi for the journey through the abyss. Questions, find answers. I'm not going down there. You do it. Engage the enemy. Following protocol. Not 
protect me. Welcome, Jedi. In each world the Republic reaches out to, there are new opportunities to spare and learn. And this planet has much to teach us. Secrets this place is hiding. Kobo matter. It's overgrown. Okay, let's try it out. We believe Kobo matter originates from deep within the abyss. This strange substance is enigmatic, but not beyond Need our trick, ability buddy. to study and manipulate. Like all things, once understood, it can be channeled and thus controlled. We're studying Kobo matter in the abyss. Is that how Dagon made it to Tantalor? Jedi Order can understand the mysteries of the galaxy and harness them for the greater good. The Force guides our path. Sounds like the Order I remember. Everything Kree built here was destroyed by a catastrophe she couldn't foresee. Sometimes it feels like history just repeats itself. Nice find. Let's take this back to Z. Master Kree talking of their dreams for the Abyss. It is unbecoming to gossip and to eavesdrop. Yes, Master. My apologies. Should be able to ride the updraft to the far side now.
fight together. I bet Z can get the data off this disk. I'm sure Z can decrypt this for us. begin to worry for this project. It is not our place to question. Well, even the Padawan sends something amiss. Stop them! Imperial tactics! Hold them here! They're after you! Let's try 
Take this! Z can decrypt this for us. Welcome, Jedi. Enemies of peace threatening the galactic frontier and our Republic. Once we cross the abyss, Tannenor could be a bastion to repel that threat. A beacon for hope and justice across the outer rim. Tantalo was more than a mission to her. It was a dream of a better future. so long I came as fast as I could my master is insistent well you don't have to worry about that not back here
fight with me. Jedi who came through here. Nice find. Take this back to Z. Oh? Go, BD. Nice find. Let's take this back to Z. These would be right at home in the garden. I guess you have a plan, though, right? Oh, 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 Cal, you, you kindly lover. Ah, sometimes I forget you're only half cooked around the gills. The reef fish has attracted less kindly fishers, however. What? I know a noble who deigned to keep one as a pet. Blinded by greed, huh? Huh? Oh, 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 <laughs> Good one. I indeed. 
Let's search inside. What is it that he expects me to find? Let's stop. Let's move, BD. Lightsaber. Dagon must be sending them out for something, and we're following the same trail. All you, Beatty. Come on, Beatty. these devices. Uh, this one's broken too. He is coming. Destroy it now. Centauri's devices. Dagon killed Jedi for destroying it. I think this could be our answer. Let's bring this back to Master Cordova. I think 
Master T'Pol had this one. That window leads back outside. We should take this back to Jeddah. Master Cordova will want to see what we found. Hey, Cow, good to see you. Cow! You know, this saloon always brightens up when you walk in. That's a new one. Didn't think you went for friendly hellos. I'll have you know that in my heyday, I was known for smooth-talking my way into all sorts of business partnerships. Tactful negotiation? Doesn't sound like your style. Well, my friend, then you're laboring under a narrow definition of tactful. Diplomacy isn't about minding your manners. It's about understanding someone's values, their culture, their beliefs. How can you sell someone a food synth if you don't understand their mealtime traditions? Hmm? So you can be pleasant when there's profit to be made. Which is why on this blasted world, I just don't bother. Another time. What's your academy like? Oh, amazing. Every building is partially suspended with repulsors. The campus looks like it's floating over the ground. It's magical. That sounds like a hard place to leave behind. It was, but things were changing. Looking down, you used to see nothing but nature. The ground is covered in ferrocrete now. 
All part of an Imperial control zone. Some other time, okay? We have some tunes, but there's gotta be so much left. Do you really see visions? Not in the way you assume. I observe the world around me, and the voice within my mind speaks. Everyone at this outpost has a unique... energy. Take Doma, for example. Strong, like a boulder. While waves of fear swirl around the cantina, they crash against our boulder and abate. She makes everyone feel safer. Yes! Once she asked me what would happen if she left Kobo, I told her what any with open eyes could see. The outpost would fall apart. You see it, too. There he is. Got your first target lined up. Looks like some Hexian hack named Kip Oster has been slinking around Dredger Gorge. This guy likes to catch his prey off guard, so watch your back. Thanks for the tip. Thank me when you turn in his bounty puck. What do we have here? No pucks, no product. Watch out for those hunters, Cal. Private table. All right, then. Whoa, easy, Grok. Sorry. Excuse me. Looks like I've met your whole crew, Cal. The old crew, that is. <laughs> Seemed like there was some tension between you and Seer, huh? It's always a little strange seeing someone after being apart for years. Hmm. Don't have too many people like that in my life. But that probably says more about me than you. <laughs> oh, yeah? Yeah, it's just me and Kata. And that's about as much as I can handle these days. The more people in your life, the more you can lose. You know? Later, BD. Hey, kid. I got some bad news on our favorite Ordo Eris fanatic. I already know Sork Tormos put a fresh bounty on my head. You do? One of your regulars clued me in on his game. She's been keeping tabs on the Haxian Brood, so this time we've got the jump on him. Sheesh. You figure that guy would let things go by now. We've got a few leads. Excellent. Not a bad selection. I'll grab this one. Excellent selection. Seems like you and Doma have some history. That's right. She took me in, showed me around, hid me, cause I was on the run, Cal. On the run, huh? What'd you do? The heist of the century. You pulled off a heist? I need a second. Oh, it's time for some hollow tactics! Commence! A great hit by Cal! 
chance! Cal Kestis proves himself superior in the final play! Your stinking game is rigged, you little grokka! Well, look at that! You've beaten all the competition! But now... Do you guys have any friends? We tried. Honest. But it never worked out. Vork, death by a runaway land speeder. Drillo died trying to ride a Garaco. Trakuka, incinerated juggling thermal detonators. Seems like everyone who tries to be your friend dies. Not everyone. Patar left because he got a job off work. But then he died when his shuttle crashed. Not our fault. Next, let's go to... Gotta it in. Think Cordova can make some sense of that tech hell found? Are you kidding me? That guy is as sharp as they come. I can't wait to see Sierra again. I owe her big time. She fronted me the credits for Pyloons. How much do you owe her, Grease? Two thousand credits, give or take. Maybe I'll make Granny Pyloon's famous casserole and she'll forget all about it. For 2,000 credits, that better be one hell of a casserole. All right, kids, sit down. We're here. 